No, wait, don't start yet. Let me put my dick away. <laughs> I can't tell if that probably got picked up or not. <laughs> All right. So, uh, while my I get intro, while I get this uh, posted around. Uh, last, so, last, what are you, last, yeah, last how are you guys we, we feeling? Uh, last time we left off, if I remember correctly, we had made it to first base. Pretty much, yeah, they finally admitted their love to each other. Well, they also snuggled, so that's kind of second yeah. base. I, I guess. I mean, I, 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 I might be wrong on this. I thought second base was like grabbing, you know, breasts or uh, vagina or something. So I don't. I think mean, I yes. I feel like you could. I don't know. That's... It feels like I feels like more like first base. Cuddling is just another form of kissing. Cuddling is kissing with the body. Yeah, cuddling <laughs> is kissing with, with your hands, and it's PG. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a and good way okay. to put it. So, what uh, what are your expectations? What are your uh, thoughts from last time and going into this next one? I'm still expecting some dark thing from Naomi. Yeah, I you know I think the dark. I'm still convinced like the dark thing we got from Naomi was just figuring out she was trying to set up Fang and Anon, which you know by comparison to Trish's dark thing was pretty tame. The I thing think is. You don't, I, I've used the same logic to uh, properly call the correct villain in a Phoenix Wright game on multiple occasions. Uh, you don't put an animation like that in the game and only use it once. Which animation? The haha -ha, all according to Keikaku animation. Oh, the smug, oh, the the smug anime, anime right. glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Smug anime glasses. Yeah, you have a good point on that. Also, speaking of which, I not 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 calling a villain, but I uh, I called somebody dying in the uh, Great Ace Attorneys. He had so many death flags. I called it. Uh, yeah, all right. So the thing is, I I was that character. I'm trying not even to say gender. Uh, that character was. Oh, so you know who I'm talking about? I wasn't sure if you started on it. Oh well, yeah, I'm on the second one. Oh okay, yes, I'm on. Oh, okay, you started. I, on the, you started that. I, one I've been slow. I'm only on the second case of the first game. Yeah, well then I definitely know who you're That was, that was, that was. <laughs> uh, I actually was surprised by it, but it was definitely the way to go because my thing with that character was that I was like, this person is way too perfect. Yeah. Like, I, I was like, was I'm also... kind of disliking, this is a Mary Sue. I'm disliking this. Yeah, but then and, got, uh, oh shit. The other, the other thing about it is like, there were already so many parallels to you know, the first game, it kind of sort of set itself up for what you were expecting. I didn't expecting. think of that until afterwards. I was thinking he was a parallel to Edward, and yes, I've said gender at this point, but oh well. I'm sure it'll still be a surprise to Kazar when we get there in the far off year of uh, 2024. We, yeah, I'll probably forget by the time we, we get to like that. Nine, we, assuming we're going by release order, we have nine games before we get to Great Ace Attorney. But yeah, that was the proper use of that character. Alright. So anyways, back to Snoot. Uh, okay, yeah. Just pick up from here. Alright. School is as rowdy as ever. Somehow, nobody confronts me about the events of two days ago, when we got docs to catch every anyone up who hasn't watched the last one. Found out our chase is shit. Our <laughs> waifu is shit. And they're yes. all judging us for it. Especially the principal. Man, people here move on fast. Maybe I should take the side route. Getting bumped would probably feel like getting gored. It's a roundabout way to reach my locker, but I got plenty of time. Um, hey, there you are. I turn to see Nacer pushing through the crowd of students towards me. At least I could talk to him about the whole situation. Or ask him for advice and how as well on how to handle Fang. That's probably the worst thing you could do. Wait. Wait. Nazer's sister, Fang. The Fang who skipped school and is spending the day at my apartment. Yeah. I was th yeah. The family is probably panicked. Yeah, because it's been two days. And oh, never went home for the past two days. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel like a fish being circled by a very nacer-shaped shark. 
how do I even begin to explain to him? Don't. Uh, hey, Nacer. What's... Ow. Nacer grabs me by the jacket. It shoves me against the wall of lockers. Ah! My everything! Alright, where the hell is Faye? Well, hey, hey I, I can... She ditched with you the other day and hasn't come home since. Do you know what I've been up with? What I've had to put up with because of you? Everything you do with Fang is my fault for letting it happen. You're lucky she texted me yesterday. Dad was about ready to file a missing person report for uh, Look, Nacer, uh, let me explain. You better before I drive your ass home and make you tell it to my dad instead. The terrifying prospect is enough to make me pause. Fang is staying at my apartment, but... <laughs> Nacer's eyes shoot up like it's the one answer he didn't want to hear. Uh, let me finish. But it was her idea after I fucked up my chest during an express trip down the stairs. <laughs> she wanted to make sure I was alright and wouldn't take no for an answer. It is very unique wording. Nacer sighs and releases my clothes, but the scowl stays on his face. Is that all that happened, Anon? I mean, we played some video games, but... All that happened? I don't think... Oh. Oh. We, uh, didn't do anything, if that's what you mean. I swear! She couldn't even kiss me because of the stupid bruise. What? <laughs> oh, look, I'm getting shoved into my locker again. <laughs> I hiss in pain as Nacer's fists press me against the locker. Wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why would Fang kiss you, Anon? I swear to Raptor Jesus. I told Fang I like her. Ah, shit, I said that out loud. I wonder if he said that out loud. <laughs> Facer freezes, and the color drains from his face. Then he shoves me back into the lockers as hard as he can. While Round three. While vibrating. What? That's hot. Hey, that's my Ooh. line! That's hot! Oh, fuck! I, I like the build-up with that. It felt like a, like a fighting game ultimate. Charging up his B standard. Oh, wait, how is that Naomi's line? Because no, that's hot! <laughs> what? Yeah, because you, you said that's hot about Nacer yeah. vibrating. <laughs> Fang is more, has more overlapping, overprotective people than... Ariel's Iron Dome program? Oh, Israel's oh, Iron Dome program. Also, hey, E. Smith. Welcome back. You know, that's funny. Yeah. She kind of has issues with people, but everyone seems to want to protect her. You want to protect her? Uh, well, yes, I do. Many. Besides, besides her family, Trish is super protective, too, to a fault. <laughs> a few students start turning their heads. Nacer is still frozen in place, staring at his outstretched hands with a thousand-yard stare. Hey, isn't that the track team leader? He's beating on that loser from the presentation, right? <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> I could visibly see Nacer's thought process on his face as he finally comprehends our current situation. A lot of conflicting emotions here. <laughs> no, I...
he regains control of his legs and hurriedly rushes through the crowd, pushing aside a few students. One or two classmates glance at me again, then continue on their way. While I'm checking for any more broken bones, my, fo my phone buzzes. Anyone to beat you up yet? The art? Yes, I don't know what this means. It just means talking, I guess. Uh... No. On an unrelated matter, have you spoken with Nacer recently? I told him I was staying here yesterday, but haven't checked his responses. Mm. Why do I need- why, do I need to kill him or something? Exclaimed talking face. Not yet. Just thinking it might be a good idea to get in touch with him when you feel like it. I might feel like it after I stop reading the fridge. Die. <laughs> Murky, happy what? talking face. That's such a, uh, <laughs> anime- little anime goal response, just die. Ah, glad to know she's still holding up. Ah, oh, shit. I don't like I have enough soda to last the week. Ah, I'll worry about that when I get home. Today needs to end. Now. I have a backpack full of missed assignments, including Mr. Suki's essay on the history of typefaces. Who the fuck cares about typefaces? Worst samurai English teacher ever. My ribs are burning as I heave a sigh. At least I can go home now. Where my hot taro GF is waiting. <laughs> my hot taro girlfriend, who may or may not be having a mental breakdown at my apartment. She be having a mental breakdown. Because she's all concerned over and on. Mm. And I have no idea what to do with a fucking girlfriend. All those hours of dating simulators have not adequately simulated dating in the least. Just as I exit the main door of Volcano High, my phone buzzes against one particularly bad bruise on my leg. Fingers crossed as Fang. We need to talk. Meet me in the auditorium. I'm going to die. You're gonna die, dweeb! Nazer's looking for your weeb ass! Eh, best get it over with now. I meander my way to the school's auditorium. Some of the lights are off when I get there, but I can make out Nazer's outline among the front row seats. He doesn't turn to look at me when I enter or walk down the aisle. You, uh, wanted to talk to me? I can see the gears in his head turning, but his expression is telling me he doesn't actually know what he wants to do. I'll keep my distance just in case. Why did you call me here? Just, uh, shut up and let me think. He sighs and turns to me. I shouldn't have pushed you earlier. Sorry, it was a moment of weakness. Very strong weakness. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I could take a hit or two. He silently nods. Yeah, man. You definitely can. He nervously chuckles. Look, Anon. When you told me Fang could... Fang could kiss you because you told her your feelings. I couldn't really describe it. 
I'm jealous. No. <laughs> I'm taking it the wrong way, but my mind just screamed at me. Worst case scenario. It's because I'm human, isn't it? Ch what? Did you skip something? No. Oh, it Oh no, it does it really quickly. You, it, it, it moved on really fast. The fucked up flip. I don't know what he means by that. Well, just think of a human and a dinosaur crossbreeding. Mm -hmm. And this is serious. So much for brevity. I'm trying to not. <clears throat> I'm trying to not make this any worse than it already is. Look, man, I was thinking only of myself. I wasn't being understanding, and I just unloaded it all on you. And Naomi usually thinks that's hot. <laughs> so no hard feelings? Yeah. If you would bang like each other, then that's my problem, right? That's not my problem. It's, it is, but it's not. You're a nice guy, really. If she's happy, then I'm happy, right? Uh, I just want to know if she can forgive me for being harsh on you. I feel like it's one of those things she'd hate me for, right? Days or smile could at best be called fragile. I wouldn't worry about it too much right now. She's under a lot of pressure. Under pressure? Dun 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 dun. dun. Did something happen to her? Yeah, because of the stunt Trish pulled, she broke off with her and the band. Now she's refusing to leave my place out of fear and stress. That wasn't really how I took that, but okay. Why, well, how'd you I'm take just, it? I don't know, I just thought she was being lazy. <laughs> well, I think that, I mean, maybe, but I think it is also makes sense that she is. So she I kind of thought she just didn't want to go home because she knew the mess that would be waiting for her. Where were you? <laughs> well, also I mean, that, but maybe she's also, like, she's looking for a place where Trish doesn't know about. Like, she wants to be in a place where Trish and her band can't A world only we know? A world only we know. So why don't I'm honestly I feeling out my depth here. here. There's no, There's really nothing I can do except be there for her. You're in a much better position to help her. You're her brother and all. I... I am her brother, but, uh... Well? It's complicated. You know that. I suck at helping her. Remember earlier this year in that concert? She told me to kill myself, and the next day Trish came lashing out at me. Telling me how my own sibling feels about me. How she'd be better off if I didn't exist. Now you're here telling me she's having a mental breakdown, which I didn't know. Hell. Even Reed tells me how she's doing sometimes. Oh, how nice of Reed. Fucking hell, Anon, tell me. Why do I gotta hear about Fang, how Fang feels from Trish Reed and never do? I'm so poisonous about she can't tell me shit herself. Well, first of all, I mean, family is family. Why do I aggravate them so much? Dude. Shut up for a second, man. Oh, God. I can only watch as Nacer breaks down in front of me, hands on his head in emotional turmoil. Aw. What did I ever do now? Man. Oh, oh, he looks so sad. This is new Ara. I haven't seen this before. Where did it all go wrong? 
Do you remember like four or five years ago? Rather not. Things were simpler then, though. It was fun. We hung out. We had movie nights. She'd bring her friends. We all got along. Somewhere in there, shit just changed. Everyone just started talking. Urban wars, gender, other shit. You're kind of fading out a little there at the end. They're talking about urban wars, gender, other shit. He's fading out. I don't think of fighting Fang. I didn't think of fighting Fang for it, but then she changed her name, started this whole non-binary deal. Wait, I like how the ge herbivores is linked in with genders and stuff. Yeah. As like herbivore is a political movement. <laughs> Being friend of herbivores. I didn't think of fighting Fang. Oh, I already yeah, said that. Yeah, we already that. The pronoun thing took a while to get used to, but I was happy for her at first going along because I didn't want to step on her toes. I thought she'd be happier, but she only got more and more miserable and distant. I'd try helping her and everything would just... just get more insufferable every time. At some point... Trish would just talk to me for her, and then she became unbearable to talk to her too. Never. She can't be unbearable. Trish? Trish is not a bad girl, ain't on. But goddamn, she didn't in 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 col inculcate. It it is. I think it means like incepted. And Fang's head, all the things. I need to see if this is a real word. Inculcate, yeah, instill by persistent introduction. Ah! Okay. We learned a new Since word. You don't learn I feel like he could have just said the word instill. Of another by a frequent instruction or repetition. Instill. Oh. Hey, Bluey. Hey, Bluey. Huh. Huh. Oh, hi. Can I see y'all there? Well, Fang needs you now to start putting the right things in her head again. Please, help her. Anna, go away. I want to be alone for a second. <laughs> what do I tell Fang when I get home? Just go! I sigh. Taking one last look at Naser as he sat motionless in the barely lit auditorium. Between Naser not being any help and my injuries, my walk home feels like agony. My idea is back to not liking it when I bend it too much, and I'm taking careful breaths again. He was still upset when I left. Man, I'm two and two for two now in terms of not being able to do anything. The fucking sexy jazz is so hilarious. What could what I? Rough part of town. What could I have done more? I still have enough strength to get home without any major problems. Faye, I'm here. My apartment door is locked and I left my keys inside. Smooth. Just like this jazz. <laughs> I bang my fist on the door. Fang? You in here? I mean, surely he's not saying I banged my fist on the door. Like, not every narration is being said out loud, surely. Don't come in. Come in, come Why? in. Why? What do you mean, why? I took a shower, you dumbass. But you wear the same things every day. What are you changing into? <laughs> Wait, you're not trying on my clothes again, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you 
that, I, I just find, that just sounds like a funny thought of just, even though the clothes would be the stage, just fascinate. Oh, human clothes, I gotta try these. Yeah, she would ruin them. Where does my tail go? Oh, it goes out the front, that's what the zipper's for. Where do the wings go? How do they get shirts on? Well, uh, maybe it has like uh, like snaps, like they are open on one side and you snap them around the wings. Well, I mean, we saw with Fang's shirt on the back, it just, there's nothing above the wings. So you could probably just slip that up underneath. Yeah. Though, when There's you look at Nacer's on... jacket, though, that's a better question. Was that one of her boots? Boobs? She seemed pretty cheery when she messaged me earlier. This isn't right. Why can't you change in the bathroom? No response. I rustle the doorknob a bit before hearing it unlock from the other side. As soon as I enter, Fang starts pressing her fingers on all the bruises I had. Worry is etched onto her face. She's acting like I'm about to fall over. Jeez. I mean, she's right, but jeez. Are you okay? Whoa, calm down. That's close enough. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Good. I... I'm just a little tired. I think I'm gonna take a nap. I dropped my things on the corner of the room, went to the kitchen to check the food. Very funny. Fang wasn't joking about raiding the fridge. All the salami is gone. It was good salami, too. It was really good salami, too. <laughs> ah, I guess I need to go out for more. I can't afford that good salami often enough, you know. Just look where we live. Back in the main room, Fang lies down on my bed. Are you really that tired? I figured we could go buy groceries. Says we need more salami, apparently. No. Fine. I'll just go by myself. No. No. Don't worry, I won't push myself. Just only getting a few things. Come on, please! She pulls my pulls me by my jacket, so I'm sitting next to her on the bed. Faye carefully hovers her hands over me, a very different attitude from when she was poking my ribs earlier. Is your arm still hurting? Don't fucking lie to me about it. It doesn't hurt that much. Only my other wrist. And knee. Good. Aw. That's adorable. <laughs> she lays her head on my arm, very carefully. It was fast becoming her preferred pillow here. In the other situation, I would find this cute. But I totally lied to her, and this hurts like crazy. It's worth it, though. I'm almost willing to have another go at the stairs if that keeps her from touching me like this. You don't hate me, do you? That's not what I was expecting. What? Why would I ever hate you? Because... All my fault, right? You didn't deserve all the shit me and the others gave you. Maybe we should just... Start over? Nah, I, I like what we have now. Maybe you do need some rest, Fang. I'll be back soon with the groceries. I gently slide my arm out of her grip. No, oh, god damn it, can you just stay still for one second? You can't leave me here alone! What? I I'm just going for groceries. What's going on? Fine, I'm just... I'm just fucking dizzy. You're fucking well dizzy? <laughs> fucking great, don't judge me. Shit, Lord. <laughs> what did you do? Please. Please. Is she high? <laughs> I hold her by the shoulders. They feel scruffy. 
Fang, what happened? Don't leave me here all alone. I catch a speck of red on my hands as they brush against her wings. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. First aid kit. I need the first aid kit. Fang grips my arm tightly as I get up from the bed. Hang on, wait. When I open the bathroom door, a wave of humidity from the shower washes over me. A smear of blood on the shower stall wall. A feather behind the toilet. Another stuck to the seat. At least three in the bowl. One of them still has blood in it. Fang? She huddles against the corner of my bed, away from me. Now that I look at it, her wings do seem slightly thinner. You were preening again? She hesitates a moment before nodding. Yes. I couldn't stop doing it. It got really bad. There was blood everywhere. I spent all day cleaning it up. Aw. She looks like she's on the verge of tears. I don't know what to do. God fucking damn it. Fuck. Fuck shit. Fuck. Fuck. Everyone say the F word. I make us both some microwave dino nuggets and we silently eat on the floor. <laughs> fucking dino nuggets kill me. Groceries will have to wait for now. Oh. You think we'll be able to go to school tomorrow? No. But you'll fall behind in class. I'll drop out. Come on, Fang. I don't want to see anyone right now. What about Nazer? I talked to him earlier and... Fuck him! That's inappropriate. Stepsister, what are you doing? He can help you. He can go die. Fang, this isn't healthy. I can't help you through this alone. But you're good at it! That's adorable. Then take my advice. Tomorrow we go to school, you sort this out with him. Why not just get him to come here today? I, uh... I don't think he'll come to Skin Row. Why are you so against this? It's Nacer! Nacer! Fang's head falls as she lets out a shuddering sigh. It's... Trish. Trish will probably be there. I blocked her number. She kept messaging me. Ah, shit. I forgot about her. Really? I mean, he probably didn't want to think about her after what happened. As she's been messaging Fang all day. Trisha's last play had humiliated me in front of the entire school body. And all because I hung out with Fang. The fuck would she pull just to talk to Fang? Okay, yeah, Trish. Fucking Trish. Well, what about your parents? Have you even told them you're here? Oh, fucking duh. Dad's mad. Big shocker there. And your mom? I don't know. Maybe she can help then. Fine, fine. I'll text her. But I'm not going to school tomorrow. Okay. Morosely, she withdraws her phone from her pocket. Her fingers tap rapidly at the screen. What feels like an eternity of her writing, erasing, and rewriting a text message ends when she looks at me with eyes filled with worry. I shuffle close to her, arm carefully wrapping over her shoulder. Fang thumbs the send button 
and sighs. There. Happy? No. T tired, actually. So, uh, movie, mate? Just want to sleep, Anon. Sleep sounds good. Fane gets up first, before needlessly helping me up. I consider the option of changing to pajamas, but I don't think Fang would be impressed with my Master Grug onesie. Who? Master Grug. Maybe, ma maybe he means Master. It's a, it's a Dino Master Chief. Yeah. Buckle up, it gets real fun from here. Oh boy. Fang slips into my bed first, her wings carefully laid behind her. I climb into the space she left for me. But she's quick to invade. Her head nestles on my shoulder, and her wings once again act as a shared blanket. Night, Anon. Night, Fang. That night, laying together with Fang, I dreamt of us escaping all of our problems. Ah. <sighs> If only. Fang refused to leave again this morning. I originally told her I'd have to stay as well, since I didn't want to risk her hurting herself again. Yeah! <sighs> she ended up swearing on her guitar she won't hurt herself again. Mm -hmm. I'll need to pick up her assignments for today as well. How did things end up like this? I can't do anything about Fang on my own, and Nacer isn't interested in helping, to say the least. Well, that's not accurate. He just doesn't know how. Yeah, they're, they're all conflicted. Ankle, this is you. Oh, you see? Thank brother be on Anon yesterday. He's the star of the school, all right. I've heard bangers he left with Anon. She was not at school yesterday. If that's the case, he's changed his mind already. Hey, Anon. I the romantic bedpick is totally not getting now. I hadn't noticed the two on the steps ahead of me. But Rosa noticed me, judging by her waving hand and overly cheerful smile. Uh, I kind of want to be edgy and say I don't feel like talking to them today, but I know you like Stella and uh, Rosa Stella. too, so how, what are you thinking? I love Stella. I, I just want to talk to them always. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I'll say hi. We're trying to get Anon to come out of his shell a little bit. I'm not in a great mood today. But I should still say hi. Uh, good morning, Stella. Morning, Rosa. Oh! So, why? There's a lot of cutting out going on. Oh, why and... do you not look so happy? Am I cutting out? Yeah, that's there you go. Now you're good. I, go. I just got to hold the close to my phone so I can deal really quick without the second breaking up. <laughs> yes, those were words. Indeed, a dark gaze hangs heavy over your heart. Rosa and I give the green stegosaur a flat look. Don't worry about it. Just dealing with some heavy stuff right now. Look, bam! Feels me! Rosa's good at listening things. Get it? Heavy stuff. <laughs> Did you finish a good series and feel that post-finale depression? I know that. I hate that! It's awful. I hate that feeling. What? No. Was it because that one pervy anime got cancelled? I wouldn't have pegged you as a fan of that kind of stuff. <laughs> no, Stella. It's not that. Is it money related? Do you need money to get Fang a proper ring? Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> what? 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 Why would I need to get Fang a ring? 
Well, I heard from a guy who heard from Mr. Kaldowski, who I heard from... Get to the point, Stella. I heard that you and Fang are getting married. What, 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 what? Oh, look at the orcs! They just grew out of their space! I wish you both a happy marriage, and I'm not at all jealous. Neither am I! I wish I had somebody to marry, too! Come on, I'll give you a rating here. I can tell you how your future life together will be. Let me get my cards out. Stella, I I'm not feeling it right now. Maybe later, all right? You shouldn't go about your day without this sort of knowledge. It can really help show your path forward. Stella, I don't care about your stupid readings. Please, just leave me alone. Guilt hits me immediately when I see her shirk back. Aww. There's me! What is the matter with you? I'll kick your nuts! <laughs> you're <laughs> not? Just horribly, horribly today. Yeah, it was. I, was I kick my ass horrible, or kick my nuts? Horribly. Sorry, Stella. Just, just don't worry about it. No tacos for you. Oh. No tacos. Please tell us what has you done. <coughs> well, I think I'm dying. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Uh, just Fang stuff. You know she hasn't been showing to school lately. She's actually refusing to leave my apartment. You mean like? Now is not the time, Stella. Oh, Jesus! This is no, it's the horror. Is this really that bad? She hasn't been taking recent events well. That's one way to put it. I do hate to see friends in trouble, but I know Fang is a good girl at heart. Please, if there's anything that we can do, Stella and I will try to be there. Rosa takes a piece of paper from her bag and hands it to me. My double and if you need it. Wink wink. Ah, thanks, Rosa. I'll think about it. Do you want a reading now? The school bells interrupt. Which is adorable. Sorry, Stella. Some other time. She doesn't know how else to help. <laughs> we all enter the school and split off to our homerooms. A class, it feels just like the beginning of the year. All alone. Naomi's apparently busy with yearbook stuff. Trish and Reed have been ditching math. Not that I care, honestly. I just want to get home and make sure Fang is okay. Time passes so quickly that it's lunch now, and I already have my tray. I didn't even realize I was walking up to the stairs to the rooftop. My stupor is broken by the sight of Trish and Reed. Worry is etched in both their faces as they approach me. Worry, I... What? I just said Tricera boobs. Ah. Worry that I do not want to be involved in at all. My feet carry me up the stairs quickly and away from the two band members. Whoa. I pass through the broken threshold to the roof. I manage to climb the ladder one-handed to the top of the stair enclosure. Someone talk to us, see? Damn it, where'd the skinny go? Yeah, using racist terms is definitely the way to get someone's attention. I disagree, Trish. I don't think that sounds like the right way to get any girl's attention, dude. Not even a dude's attention. I don't know why I said girl. That's weird, dude. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm high early. Anyways, Trish, come on, you're acting crazy. It's his fault, Reed. If we can just get him to talk to Fang for us. He da. She do. It's they, damn it. I hear a defeated sigh at retreating footsteps. I feel like Neo after dodging that. Maybe Fang had the right idea about not coming back to school. Who needs it, anyway? Stupid evil? Ugh, no. Focus, Anon. We're not stupid. I hunker down on the rooftop and silently eat my meal. Aren't we, though? Eh, 50-50. You wouldn't be going to school if you weren't stupid. Just need to focus on Fang right now. For the rest of the day, I'm constantly on the lookout to avoid Trish. I want no part in whatever she's looking for me for. Thankfully, I reach the end of the day with no more Triceratops-shaped incidents and hurry my way back home. I want a Triceratops-shaped incident. Once I'm free from being intercepted on the school campus, my mind starts to wander back to my conversation this morning. Rosa and Stella seem pretty willing to help Fang and Nacer. But do either of them really understand what's actually going on? It's not like this is just some dumb argument. I'm not really sure what either of them could do to help, either. Rosa would just pull something out of the Bible to read. And Stella... Stella would show them some anime about friendship or something. And that's the best answer. Maybe they can show them about how a show about friendship is magic. <laughs> <laughs> Technicolor ponies? That's such a fucking stupid concept. In this world, I bet they're dinosaurs, too. I'm trying to think of tiny dinosaurs they could use. Or maybe, like, prehistoric mammals that also somehow survived up to this era. <laughs> I, guess it, I guess it could have hurt My little raptor, my little raptor. My little compy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it could have hurt to talk to them, though, right? At the very least, they could point me in the right direction. Before long, I reach my apartment building, once again lost in my thoughts about around Fang. At least I remembered my key this time. Well, I assumed he left the key on purpose so that if she had to go somewhere, she could lock the door. Maybe he has two sets. I just forgot his... Yeah, his pair. Things seem normal. I imagine you could have, like, I, I, I've had two, uh, they give me two copies of every key for every apartment or house I've ever had. Yeah, they gave me two copies for my current apartment. I gave one to my parents and they lost it. <laughs> Oof. Things seem normal enough when I enter. Fang is resting in my bed, her chest rising and falling. A quick look in the bathroom shows no gore splattered on the walls. That's dramatic. Still, I should check out Fang myself. A closer inspection makes my heart drop like a rock. Oh, yeah. Dozens of feathers are strewn about the bed sheets, most of them under Fang. I bite back a scream of frustration. They're everywhere. Fang's wings are folded behind her but I can't see the damage at all. I gently lift one to try to see where she hurt herself. Did the sound not come through? Yeah, it, it did at the end. And on! She sits up with a jolt, a, do a dozen feathers sticking to her side. Oh, the wings do look a lot more ragged too. Yeah, now they're looking bad. Oh, shh! <laughs> she quickly sweeps the feathers off her and into a pile behind her. Hey, what's up with you? Nothing here. Y you're home! Fang, why? You swore this morning you wouldn't start again. But these aren't mine! Look! <laughs> Fang stretches her wings out. Sure enough, there's no fresh blood on them. 
Th then what? My gaze shifts to my pillow. I pick it up, and a chunk of down falls out of a hole ripped in the side. I glance back to Fang in bewilderment. She casts her head aside in shame. I mean, it's not self-harm, but why? I mean, well, acceptable, honestly. All right, I was I was looking for something to watch online. Oh yeah, I guess preening a pillow is better, but still, that's not a good habit. I mean, habits are habits. It's, it's, she's not hurting herself. It's fine. Yeah, it's weird. It's not like she's actually. Maybe it's it, it's kind of funny in how it's not exactly intentionally trying to hurt herself because she wants to feel pain. It's more like just plucking feathers is a nervous tick. Yeah. That just gets out of control. I mean, I'm sure that some of it is intentionally pain, but she's Not trying to circumvent it, yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyways, I, I was about to see a movie when I got a call. It said it was Reed, and I remembered what you said yesterday. So I got myself ready to talk to him, since it's what you'd want me to do. And... It wasn't Reed. Oh, no. Trish just used his phone. Bitch. I couldn't stop myself from ripping something, anything. I'm sorry, Anon. Hey. I scooch closer to her on the bed and put an arm around her. She turns and buries her face in my collar. Don't worry about the pillow. I'm more worried about you. You can't just hide here forever, you know. Can't I? I mean, you could, but you can't. How, I'm not how, hearing a good reason. How about we go out for a good meal? We're out of food here anyways. Are you able to go somewhere if it's with me? I feel her head nod against my chest. I'll place a reservation at Moe's. Why don't you clean the feathers off your arms? She slowly lets go and gets up for the bathroom to get ready. When the door clicks, I call Rosa. I need Jesus. Yeah, I need your help with Fang. Do you have him on speed what? dial? This is Jesus. I'd be glad to help as best I can. This is a long shot, but can you get Nacer to Dynamo's Pizza and Little Trudon within the hour? Is that all? Of course I can. Just leave it to Rosa. I will go get him right now. She hangs up on me. If Celeste shows up on your island, does that mean you're having a, a meteor shower? Uh, I think half the time. Well, I know if, if it's not a meteor shower, there's definitely going to be falling stars to, to some degree if she's on the island. Interesting. The bathroom door swings open and Fang throws a fistful of down into the kitchen trash can. Okay, I'm ready. Great. I think we could catch the next bus in 10 minutes if we leave now. For all the heartache and mental anguish I've been through these past few days, there's one good thing to come of it. I'm on an actual date! Anon. Such a tweeb, Anon. <laughs> also, you really think I couldn't hear that one? <laughs> feel my cheeks warm up as Fang's fingers interlock with mine. A hand-holding is wonderful, fun. Dad, you're so lucky the talking to yourself thing is kind of hot. <laughs> We're in Mo's reception now. In hindsight, I should have called Mo too. And you also shouldn't have deceived her. This is the worst way to do this. Hey, my little Lucy, I'm back again so soon! Woohoo! I mean, deceive Nazer, that's fine. Yeah, you don't you, you don't want to uh, bombard the the person who's having the problem though. You, well, to be fair, most of her problem is with yeah, Trish. I think, both, 
to be yeah, fair, she's both with Nazer too, both, though. Yeah, to be fair, both of them are also having problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably, maybe it would yeah, be better I mean, to let Nate. Hell, Nate, letting Nate. her know that he hasn't had time to prepare something because he doesn't know what's about to happen would even give her security instead of just dropping this on her. Well, I guess that's a maybe good he point. believes in the deep end of the pool philosophy. <laughs> I can feel Fang flinch as her barrel-chested uncle hobbles towards us. You brought the man on! There must be another date tonight, then! Y yeah date night. Please don't tell Dad. Oh, of course! I knew all the little would just keel over! And then kill you! Especially since kill over you! <laughs> You're also now disappointing her because she thinks it's a date night. It's also <laughs> date night. It can still be date night. It just also what a day! A terrible night. Now, terrible. now you're just making <laughs> you claim it's the date night. Now you're just making yourself look like an awful dater. To be fair, she knows he is. Yeah, we we. That's not helping. <laughs> it's just a human thing. She wouldn't get it. Ah, thanks, Mo. Uh, no, no problem. No, no problem. Now let's get the youths to settle in. Jerry, get the, the, the clear table and clean it now. You're lazy, a piece of shit. I don't know why I still have a Jerry around here. Fuck Jerry. <laughs> we wait a little longer in the foyer as the overworked employee scrub the booth table clean. For fuck's sake, Jerry. You're not overworked. Get over yourself. <laughs> oh my god, the Jerry. If I hear you complain one more time, I swear to god, it's a bang of zoom. It's straight to, to the parking lot where I will bury you in cement. So are you oh, two of the officials? <laughs> so are you two of the officials now? Oh. I notice a fluffy white wing slowly wrapped itself around over my shoulder. Oh. I now look like I have a feathered cloak hiding my tarot GF from view. It's adorable. Uh, yeah, we are, Mo. I don't know if I'm wincing at the awkwardness or the pain from Fang's claws digging into my hand. Probably both. Mo laughs regardless. You said it like a New England. In that Boy. case, I'll make sure your day tonight goes perfectly. Yahoo! Leave it to Uncle Mo. The old T-Rex leads us to our clean table and set about the lighting. Set about lighting the lone candle there with an extra long barbecue lighter. There we go. Don't worry about the menu, kids. I'll set you light up. When I take my sea across from Fang. She gets up to sit next to me and lays her head against my shoulder. I lost my microphone. Oh no. Wasn't expecting it to be free again. Your uncle's pretty nice. Yeah, he's pretty nice. We sit a while, listening to the soft music play through the cheap speakers. It only now occurs to me Fang might not like the sudden appearance of her brother. Don't Jesus move it on. <laughs> <laughs> you holding up so far? Not that fragile, come on. Certainly You're had me you. fooled. She bumps her elbow into my side. Ow. You deserved it. My phone buzzes in my pocket. Probably Rosa. I discreetly peek at the notification. She's here already? I crane my neck around to see Rosa enter, dragging a horrified Nazer by the arm. Horrified, what'd she do? Son oh, what did I do? I did everything in order to get her to come! <laughs> oh. Suddenly, my stomach tightens, and I'm having second thoughts. Are you horrified by that? That's... Rosa spots me through the lattice, and her face lights up. I cover my eyes with one hand, and slump in my seat. You know, suddenly I'm realizing, maybe I fucked up. I'm doing the thing! What a happy coincidence to see you two here! What a complete and total coincidence! Who would have ever seen this happening? Certainly not I, and certainly not Adam! Is this what you dragged me here for, Rosa? 
Fag's voice is an angry hiss in my ear. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> to be fair, I thought it was a good idea at the time. Why? Why would you think this is a good idea at any time? Because I'm an idiot. How do you get maple leaves? Uh, they appear later in fall. They're like snowflakes. You catch them with oh. the net. Oh, shit! I can catch those? Yeah. They're all over the fucking place. Oh, yeah. no. I'm, I'm, here, anyway. I'm here with you. Just give it five minutes. I am so not buying you a new pillow. Fine, you'll just be my pillow then. Oh. No, you're my pillow. It doesn't go both ways. Darn it. Like 69 Sonobo? <laughs> Rosa practically shoves Nacer into the seat across from me and sits down herself. Rosa, I thought you wanted to talk about the gardening club budget. He's quick to turn his glare from the Latina to me. Yo, Latina, I don't... Why are there Dino Latinas? Because there's a Dino, Dino Mexico. Yeah. From Dino Mexico, which later get, got much of its culture from Dino Spaniel. Okay. Fair enough. What's this all about, Anon? I told you before I. Gosh, this was my idea! Entirely! I take full credit! You were just telling me in the car that you were having struggles with your sister! Yeah, but... Go ahead and try to talk to Bang about it! Use your words! Oh man, you know, Nazer must be struggling if he's telling Rosa just... In a car ride, oh, we're gonna talk about the budget that he just yeah. kinda unloads about his sister. Just brought up Fang, yeah, he just brought up Fang offhand and mentioned it, like he just needs to get it off to as many people as he can. Giggity. I mean, yeah. I mean to be fair, he, he's, he's been going through a lot mentally. Especially who knows what it's like at home since Fang hasn't been back in three days now. Four days? Uh, yes, uh, uh, this would be day three, because it was day two yesterday. I think it's day four now. No, it's day three, because it was day, it it was was two, day days. two when we started, but I think we've gone through two days at this point. I think it's only the third, because yesterday, yesterday was the day we found her in the shower. Well, I guess it depends today. on if, since it was morning, we were saying it's been two days. It depends if that was counting that current day or not. Anyways. <laughs> Fang shifts in her seat to get up, and I squeeze her hand to get her to stop. Nick. Racist. <laughs> oh, 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 I... <laughs> oh, well. I guess I want to say... <laughs> oh, my, I brought the breadsticks for the lovely couple. Here we go. Hope I'm not interrupting at anything. Here's the breadsticks for them. Oh. Just love how panicked she looks. Oh, hey, look at that unhappy couple! Rosa slaves her head into the table. Is that a perks Oh, table? NASA! Oh, look at that little boy! It's the right report. I think that's what it it's called. Looks like I see you finally adopted that strumpet! Woohoo! As I told her she was a bad for you, yes it is! The way too strung up and the way too horny all of the time, all of the time, <laughs> all she was talking about the thing, how you want to look at your stuff, do I, do I know how to recall him or what? Oh, poor Naomi, everyone's just bad mouthing her. Fuck Naomi! Not the only person I hate the more than Naomi is a fucking jelly! <laughs> <laughs> Bo's powerful jaw clicks shut when he notices our unenthused stares. This ain't the, the, the double the date, ain't it? Thank you for the breadsticks, Mo, but it's not the best timing. Mo drags over a chair with his tail and sits in it with his tidy arms on the backrest. Are you sure I can catch these leaves? Pretty sure. 
Absolutely. That's it has to be the right leaves, though. It has to be the big ones. Oh. Nobody tells me nothing anymore from your family, you two, but I got a good idea about what this is about. Bo, you really don't have to. Don't you think I have to notice how little Lucia there looks? Even a little Anasa looks like he's had his shit kicked out of him. And I was just talking about the wing. <laughs> All the more can intuit the what's happening here. And as for Anasa's new lady or friend in the you, please give us a little bit of a privacy for I'm going to speak to the niece and the nephew. Family matters are the best to handle by the family. Fang turns a worried look my way as her claws once again dig into my hand. An old memory flashes in my head. If it worked for Nacer, it'll be fine, Fang. I'll be nearby. I draw her into a hug, and my cheek rubs softly against her long beak. Well, I pull away to see Fang with a luminescent blush across her cheek. Aw. I shuffle out of the booth and stand next to Rosa. Mary, get to these two tables of some of the metal sticks, you lazy piece of shit! I swear to God, I have no idea why I even keep you around the chair, you're so worthless! All I ask you to do is get to the monster metal sticks for the happy couple over there, but you never manage to do anything! Go to the dam at the jelly! The, over <laughs> the overworked busman brought us to a small table on the opposite end of the restaurant. And if they had to cook to the perfection, I'm gonna put you into the river, I swear to God! Guess this isn't the first time this kind of thing had happened. So, uh... Now what, Rosa? Mr. Mo said that the best the family matters are the best to solve the body of the familia! That means the family in Espanol! Oh. So now we just sit in the wait. She grimaces as her eyes sweep over the menu. Is there uh, any uh, vegetarian options here? Why not the pasta? Yeah. Wait, I'm not watching my figure, Anon! So what the hell do you eat? I hope Mo can solve this quickly. Veggie tacos and the bean burritos! That's not watching your figure at all. You know, this is the help of you too, Anon! B what? You yourself look like you're struggling with something! Let me hear your troubles, Anon! My troubles? Hey, two troubles! I look around the room to see Nacer and Fang actually laughing with Mo. My heart clenches as I wish I was there with Fang. Is that your new relationship? <sighs> that and a hundred other things. Let me know that, Anon, there is no need to bottle up these anxieties of yours! Squeeze it out! It was as if a bulwark broke. The words spilled from my lips at so rapid a pace, I feared Rosa wouldn't understand. I don't think she talks fast enough. I told her everything. From how I wound up at Volcano High, all my inner turmoil there, even my romantic failings. Time slipped by as I used this rare moment to finally vent about everything around me. And through it all, Rosa simply smiled and nodded. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Few times she would speak up, if only for clarification or to offer sympathy. See, I want to go out with Stella just so that I can have Rosa as like a, a wing friend. All dates with Stella include one free Rosa, free of charge. And that's awesome. <laughs> Our meal came and went ignored. I just kept talking and talking until I couldn't anymore. My throat is so dry now, and my voice is hoarse. God, how long was I talking? Rosa slides out from her chair and steps around it. Her fist rocks my shoulder back harshly. Ah! What was that for? I'm being a stupid boy! Here, drink! 
I take the preferred glass of water and doubt it greedily. As soon as I set the cup down, a pair of arms wrap around my head. This is the one where I snap your neck! <laughs> oh god, oh fuck, Rosa's actually gonna kill me. <laughs> Those were my last words, she tricked me. <laughs> you stupid the boys! You are stupid little chickles! Always hiding your own pain away! Her heavy hand rubs my head gently as she cradles it against her chest. So adorable. Be sure you have a thing of this, all right? Okay. Good. I do not have to snap your neck now. The boob hug or your feelings? <laughs> absolutely. I think you two are absolutely adorable together. But my lord of his cross of luck are you two dumb? Yeah. <laughs> Always hiding away these pains you have from the world and your loved ones. Rosa loosens her grip around my head. I sneak a glance over towards Fang and Nacer. They aren't trying to kill each other, so they seem to have made some progress. I almost think I just saw Fang actually smile. Right as I turn back to the table, my ears are assaulted by most Italian shrieking from across the restaurant. Jerry! Use the kids are gonna come back now! The first thing I notice on the way over is how much more lively Fang and Nasser look, like they had regained all of their lost energy. Before I could take a seat, Fang gets up and wraps her arms around my head. I almost ask her what the deal is but I could feel the icy stare she's suiting at Rosa from here. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it doesn't mean it's like that! <laughs> Fang lets out the laugh she was holding in. I know, I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> bitch. You didn't need to tell her about the boob hug. I let out a sigh of relief. Fang's back to making jokes. That's good. It's so good to see all the more can still help it to keep things straight. Don't ever hesitate on the coming rush back if you need it. Tell me more, as all the house. Oh, and a uh, good job of getting yourself a better half, and Nasa, she's a better looker than your old lady friend. <laughs> oh, fuck Naomi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's me. Wait, Rosa isn't mine. And Naomi and I are still... I know, I know, you're probably all a hot bloking about the Blake up, but don't do do it good for your new friend, your new girl, your new girlfriend, Nasa. Always I said that the Melano Grano Magnata was never good to ya. Melano Grano Magnata. Even he's doing the color puns. She was a no good, she was a too blonde, she had a two glasses, and she was way too horny all the time. Oh, right. Mo rushes rush off before Nay Circuit finishes his sentence, leaving the four of us alone once again. I probably take my place in the booth next to Fang, feeling her clawed fingers lock with my own. Rosie, on the, on the other hand, took a seat a conspicuous distance from Nasser, and I'm not quite sure who looks more embarrassed. <laughs> The rest of the time at Moe's goes by pretty well. Whatever family trick up his tiny sleeve seemed to have worked. Double dates seem like a fun idea. Yeah. Too bad you need a date and friends to do it. I got one of those! <laughs> I'm, I'm slightly disappointed we don't actually get to see like the resolution between Fang and Nazar, like, in, like, should we just see the conclusion? I, I really wanted to see... I wanted to see the breakdown between Nazar and Fang getting back together and just kind of breaking down their issues with each other. It was all off screen. You know, just get you yeah, as brother and sister, obviously, Bring you know what I mean? <laughs> I was interested in seeing Nazar and Fang finally fucking talk to each other about finally all this. Finally fucking? I am going <laughs> going. to. I'm going to strangle you. I'm going to put you under the fucking the bridge and I'll put a rope around your neck and throw you off the train's back. Gee, Hankel here, be so horny, he's home. a triceratops. No, but uh, you know what I'm getting at, right? I, yeah. I, I kind of wanted to see Nazar and Fang's conversation there. Yeah, actually yeah. actually see them talk to each other, yeah. yeah. Fang is more calm than I've ever seen her in months. 
Nacer is talking and laughing, without having to walk through a verbal minefield. From everyone's mood alone, I feel like a burden is lifted from my shoulders. And I then Trish. I don't have to play psychiatrist to everyone anymore. Yeah, you can just bring up the ball. And he's, and he's a competent. <laughs> I'm not like a you. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. Dinner is lively, and Rosa offers to take Fang and I home. Fang agrees to return to her place with Nasser. So, this is a kind of a side note, but I've been reading the sequel to Worm, which uh -huh. the all the protagonists are uh, people... They, basically, it's a group of people who were in a group therapy session together, and now they're all superheroes together. <laughs> um, they're all, like, horrifically fucked up people, but having been in therapy for so long at this point, they acknowledge this and, like, know the ways to, like, deal with themselves and each other. It's just so funny reading a story in which the characters are just, like, so good at interpersonal issues <laughs> because they've gotten so much training on that at this point. It, that sounds kind of interesting. What's what's it called? Uh, the sequel's called Ward. Oh. You gotta read Worm first. Worm and Ward. Creative yeah. names. He has like a weird, like, all his series. Um, Start with W. Well, he has several different series that he does. Uh, but each one, each of the titles for the, the stories in the series start with that same letter. Like, there's another one where it's like packed and, and they're all P's. Ah, oh, that's a good way to organize. All, yeah, all, all the ones in this one are all W's. She drops me off back at my place and I return Fang's backpack to her. After locking the door, I collapse on my bed, completely spent. I forgot to get a new pillow. I don't want Fang here either to be the new pillow. Dang. Those wings are good. Fang texts me while I'm walking to school the next day. Oh, come on, Fang. I slept like a rock last night, lol. Go to school. You, feel, you feeling better too? Yeah. Were your parents upset? I'm friggin' grounded from everything basically forever. Uh oh. My mom will forget in like a week, Lamau. <laughs> See you in science as always, right? Yeah, of course. What do you plan to do about your missing assignments? Na Nazar stayed up to help me with them. I think he did most of it, though, lol. <laughs> FWR. <laughs> FWR. Fuck the wing retard. It was the insult yeah. she gave him towards the beginning. Where's my heart to see she's back to normal? Wait, she still hasn't spoken with Trish. I shouldn't be worried. But... What she called Fang. Yo, Anon! Wait up, dude! I instinctively start picking up the pace. Wait, man, I need to talk to you about Trish, dude. It's just me. Ah, uh, well, I don't have a beef with Reed. It can't hurt to talk. What? Uh, Trish has been, like, super beat up over everything that's happened, dude. So I've heard. Good. So, like, you wouldn't mind if, uh, like... No, Reed. Huh? I'm not going to lure Fang into meeting Trish so she could try to fix her abusive relationship. Reed winces. Read me like a book, huh, dude? I mean, that is your name. Whoa. <laughs> it's just <laughs> my mind. It's not easy, dude. It's a real hard <laughs> read. <laughs> when, I get, when I get blitzed, it's really hard to blow my mind, man. Pro tip, Anand should have been worried. Oh, no. Come on, man. Trish will be better this time. I know it, dude. Also, you're just making it worse by letting it build up. Just give it a chance. Like, what's the worst that could happen? They're going to run into each other eventually. 
fair point. I hear the desperation in his voice. Hesitating, I sigh and roll my eyes. Fine, but I'm going to be there, and we're leaving the split second I can tell it's not going well. Oh man, you're like a lifesaver, dude. Just bring her over to the auditorium for lunch. I'll make sure Trish doesn't flake. Reed excitedly jogs away to his homeroom. Wee. <laughs> That's the most relieved I've ever, ever seen him. Guess Trish really is sorry. I give Fang the memo as I duck into class moments before the bell. I don't know. You'll be there, right? Of course I will. Oh, I get it. It's a sad smiley face because the little thing is not the it's not a hat. It's frown. It's like frowny eyebrows. I get it now. Anyways, I'll try not to get worked up in anticipation then. <laughs> I just imagine oh. like she typed that in her text. Oh man, I finally just figured out this emoji I'm using. <laughs> I sigh and glance at the clock. Also, thanks for telling me about it this time in advance, asshole. Hey, I learned from my mistakes. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he did that, to be honest. And on learns. Slowly, but he learns. I feel like my mood's been put in a guillotine now. And surprised that she agreed a little bit. And Trisha Just Reed are the ones in the black hoods. The anxiety's returned, making time cra crawl by slowly now. Even in science, where Fang and I could at least sit next to each other and talk, didn't alleviate it. But math. Mr. Mr. Carla C. Dwiski was at Conscious As Desk, once again being of no help. Yeah, the... the the yeah, that's, different. That's not supposed to be a C, I'm pretty sure. That's, it's I thought it was be. changing every single time as a joke. Has it? I don't know. I couldn't confirm that. I would have to go back and look at them all, but I thought so. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that too. At some point. Reed is now sitting behind me, and every time I glance back, he smiles and nods. Trish is nowhere to be seen. The ticks of the clock's second hand are a countdown to Doomsday, and I'm at the epicenter of it. The lunch bell blares loudly, and I shuffle out from behind my desk. A powerful arm wraps around my shoulder, dragging me to the door. Come on, man. The sooner we get our food, the sooner we can put all this behind us. I... I Don't worry, it's gonna go great now. I'm this nervous to talk to someone who has no authority. I mean... They did dox him, so it's like, what? It, what is she possibly I doing? Think I think he's nervous about the effect Trish is gonna have on Fang. That's, alright, that's Also that fair. too. I guess she has an authority in a weird sense. I mean, just text messages made her self-hurt, yeah. self-harm. There's an edge of something to Reed's voice, making his words sound unnatural. Oh my god, is he sober? What's that, dude? <laughs> my phone vibrates in my pocket. When I reach for it, Reed bumps me. What you want for lunch, dude? I, uh, what are they serving? Another buzz in my pocket. Well, uh, I think it's like mystery meatloaf and like mystery pizza today, dude. Mystery pizza. Mystery pizza. <laughs> mystery pizza. It's a mystery about what the pizza is. Sure ain't pizza, dude. It's pineapple. It ain't. It ain't cheese. And it ain't mozzarella sauce. It looks like pizza. That was their intention. Whose intention? Who made this? <laughs> and another. One sec. Yo, dude, the line's moving. I bumped forward in line by Reed. Oh, he's up to something. My phone is vibrating nonstop now. Oh, he fucking had them go to the lunchroom on purpose so that Trish would meet her. And they're not there. Reed, what are you... Just trying to get us some grub before we see Trish and Fang, dude. D don't want to do that on an empty stomach, right? I get my phone at last to see. 
Yo, so the pizza, right? Let's get the pizza. Let's get the mystery pizza. Maybe we can figure out what this stuff is together, dude. <laughs> Reed was with you right now. I glance at my phone screen to see ten messages, all from Fang. She should have called. Reed pushes me forward, and my phone hits the floor. Well, I feel like calling wouldn't work with how much Reed keeps pushing us. God damn it, Reed! I got it, Anon. He scoops up my phone and pockets it. I got it for you here. Let me keep this real safe for you. Well, then. First food, food first, man. Come on. I mean, I just hop, hop out the lion and go find Fang. Reed, seriously, what the fuck is up with you? Did you find something new to tinker around with? What? No, nothing, man. Just like us two getting some food, right? Two dudes in line talking about mysteries and pizzas. Totally chill, man. Give me back my phone, Reed. What's a phone? Uh, sorry, dude. I drop my tray and make a break down the hall towards the auditorium. Reed is chasing close behind, only a few feet behind me. Anon, wait, dude! Think I'm managing to outpace him. Just need to turn the corner, and it's on the other so end of the hall. Outrun the raptor. I mean, who says raptors are fast? Science. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but this raptor is on drugs. Who says that that makes him fast? I'm on speed, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> I hear Reed's footsteps get further away. I'd stop for a split second. Fuck, I forgot. Ironically, speed makes me slower. <laughs> <laughs> Did he give up? Oh! Oh, sneaky dick. That that was a nice animation there. What the fuck? Water sprays from the ceiling, and the halls are quickly crowded with screaming students running for their lives. The teachers try fruitlessly to keep them calm. It sounds like the screams of the damned as well. Reed, you dirty bastard! Well, I guess maybe I was helping. <laughs> well, it's keeping Anon away. But it's a very, very poor way of doing it. I've shoved aside from all angles by the student body. Just a dozen more feet to the door. I finally managed to get my hand on the handle, and... Ugh! Got everyone just going for my head this week. Sorry, dude. He's got me in a chokehold with one arm. Convenient. Reed opens the door with one foot to look in. You'll see, man. It's all going well. I could only watch the scene before me unfold. Why don't you want me to talk about it? Or why don't you want to talk about it? Please talk with me, please! It's been days, didn't you have enough time to think about it already? Fuck off from my life already! No, Fang, I won't. I helped you, remember? I want to keep helping you! You used me! You betrayed me! I did not. You couldn't deal with yourself. You weren't happy with how things were going. I helped you achieve a new you. You've embraced something beautiful. I was proud of you. I don't need a new me. I don't understand. Would you please tell me what's so wrong? Please, Trish, just stop talking to me. Why? Stop yelling! Oh. What about the other guys? What about the band? You ruined everything! It was supposed to be fun! 
how? Please tell me. What do you mean how? You just took control of everything. We were doing what you wanted all the time. We voted to know what to do next. And we only did whatever you wanted. Because I thought you'd be okay with it. If you didn't agree with anything I did, then you should have just told me. But yeah, she, when she voted against you, that was... <laughs> you should have known! When I voted against you! You're confusing me! I mean, that is a very good point, because we did learn before she would always be outvoted for the, ba for the base aspect. Yeah. It was your idea! You were the one who wanted us to take the ban more seriously, and I did. I was just doing what you wanted because I thought it would have made us happier. Her tail is incongruently large compared to her legs and hips. Who, uh, Trish's? Yeah. Yeah. Go she... back. To, go back to the yelling animation. Can you do that? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, it could just be weird perspective on the legs. True. Of course, I mean, in general, I think she probably does have a fat tail. That fat tail, though. <laughs> Reach show cold is making my wounds flare up again. Can I just die? Right here? Game over. You didn't answer about the band. What about the Verm drama? I don't know, Trish. It's over, okay? I was hoping you were just taking a time off to cool off and reconsider. What's happening to you, Fang? I don't know who you are anymore, Trish. You did something that's making me question years of my life. Wasted years. Because of him? That's what it is? You're really just gonna throw away our entire life together since we were kids up until now, just as we're about to make it. Rish, no, I didn't mean it, I... Every time I offered you a shoulder to cry on, the songs we wrote, the stories we came up with, all gone, is that it? And for fucking what? For a fucking bump you met a few months ago? Is that what you want to become a trailer wife? Oof. To do absolutely fucking nothing all day in between getting beaten up and feeding little brats to the benefit of some penniless nobody? This is this is some like uh, massive extrapolation here. Well, he is poor, as, as Naomi has pointed out many times. Yeah. I was always here for you. We do everything together, and this is how you thank me? By kicking me out of your life to become a... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> home dumpster for this worthless prion? Oh, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you're going, oh, you're just going to go just get beaten up and feeding kids all day, and now you're going to be a cum dumpster? Like, she is... Jesus Christ. She, she is going... It's like... Well, I mean, this isn't gaslighting, because that, that would have been all the stuff beforehand, probably. This is less, like, just direct... I guess that, just gaslighting, just destroying character. Yeah. She's I mean, if anything, this is, this is the abuse right here. Yeah. This is... I'm surprised Reed is just standing by and letting this fucking shit happen. What the fuck, yeah. dude? Reed, this is not going well at all. No, no, dude, dude, just hold on, hold on. It's gonna get better. Any second now. Do you not see what's wrong here? <laughs> Textbook emotional abuse, literally both barrels. Yeah, it's... Especially the whole I did everything for you part, I feel. Rich did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you told me when the year started you were scared shitless you weren't gonna amount to anything in life. Are we in this together or not? If not, you'll dive headfirst into exactly that. You'll be a nobody. Remember, I still have the messages. Look! Yeah, she's being a real bitch. 
You know I'm right. I'm always right. Ooh. Answer me, Fang. Yeah, especially... I mean, that sounds like she had the messages prepared for this scenario. Reed, let's go up my neck completely. He wordlessly puts his hands in his pockets and withdraws my phone. The phone is dropped limply in my palm, and Reed turns away silently. <laughs> Oof. I might have picked up on that one, dude. I only caught a glimpse of it, but I saw the disappointment in his eyes. Because he's that his thing this whole time has been trust and caring about. Yeah, friends. and it looks he like he lectured you on trust at least and, twice now. And, and, now, and, yeah, and Trish, yeah, Trish abused that. This is the that. second time Trish has abused it twice now because I bet Trish told him ahead that she was going to take this calmly and not yeah. do this kind of bullshit with Fang, like using emotional abuse and bringing up text messages and forcing her, like basically trying to make it feel like she owns her. And it's like he's like he's just realizing, holy shit, I th I, I have put my fa I put my stock in the wrong horse. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me twice, I'm gay. <laughs> I stand back up and throw the door open. Silence washes over the room. Eventually, Fang takes a deep breath and lets it out before facing Trish again. Fuck. Aw. Oh. Just fuck off from my life, Trish. Trish shoots me another one of those petty glares before dashing out the side door. Fang folds a seat down and sits in it with her knees to her chest, covering herself with her fangs. Or wings. With her fangs. Well, I mean, fighting. she is fang. Her wings count as fang. Therefore, it, it works. I sit next to her as she starts silently weeping into her knees. Oh. I reach through the wings and find a hand to hold. The lunch bell comes and goes, as does the tardy bell for music class. We ended up ditching the last few classes and just go back to my apartment again. Uh, April 1st? April 1st. <laughs> oh no, the clouds are back. Fang and I have been together for a month now. Things are going pretty well, but we discount Trish's weekly attempt to talk with Fang. Rosa and Stella have helped with that. In fact, they've done a lot for our relationship. Between distracting Trish and giving us a space to just be together on the weekends away from everyone. Only downside to it is all the fucking gardening we have to do during our alone time. <laughs> ah, still, things are good. And right now, I'm gonna win our prank war. There's a prank war? She may have gotten me with that stupid kiss prank. Kiss prank? How the hell she found a mousetrap that small, I'll uh, never know. Oh my... <laughs> Let it, I like to think she put it in her in her beak. <laughs> put it in her beak, and then she opened it up, and it's like surprise mouth trap, and it just fit the whole thing in there, and just clamped down. <laughs> but I got special packy treat for her today. For once, I can use my weaving weebness for the greater good. What is a packy treat? I wonder. Pocky. Oh, I see. That's that's a good pun. Hey, sweet tooth. Aww. Fang grows at the pet name. Honestly, that hurt me to say too. That's actually fucking great because her name is Fang. I yeah. love it. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, it's a great pet name. I consider using her mom's pet name, but after the last time, I didn't want to tempt her. What was her mom's pet name? Oh, Tooth Fairy. Oh. Phase one complete. She's too distracted to check the box in my hand. Hey, want to play the Pocky game? What's the Pocky game? How do you play that? 
Well, I hold one of these. I take one mm -hmm. of the green sugary sticks from the box and hold the plain end by my teeth. Between my thief, then you have to take it with your lift. Yeah, he's even got it on the kick, on the thing. Oh, hey, it does. Good detail. And try to bite as much as you could chew without touching my faith. Fang narrows her eyes in suspicion, then cautiously moves her head towards mine. It's just chocolate. <laughs> she moves in and crunches down on the pocky stick centimeters from my face. Jackpot. Her face contorts almost immediately as she spits it out on the floor. Chap, what the f is that? Where did you even get those? I barely contain my laugh as Fang downs the rest of her coffee to get the taste out of her mouth. Uh, let's just say Stella gets all sorts of weird snacks from Japan. Like wasabi pocky sticks. Wasabi pocky. <laughs> Fang looks ready to strangle me, but I still have one card left to play. Hey, I have amnesty for today. April Fools! Payback for the mouse trip from the other mouse trap from the other day. She growls at that and jabs me in the shoulder. I guess I deserve that much. Before I can make my retort, an announcement comes in over the speakers. You're all Expelled. <laughs> what an announcement. Hey everyone, listen up. Next month will be what is possibly the highlight of your time here at Volcano High. Prom, that's right, I said it. Monster Prom. Tomorrow we will be selling... Why is the principal cursing over the announcement? Selling fucking tickets to prom. Oh, oh, it's that kind of prom. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't fucking prom unless you have one of these tickets. <laughs> the ticket to fucking prom. It's exclusive. You have to pay extra for it. So get those formal fucking outfits ready. Those also cost extra. You can't fuck unless you have the right fucking outfit. A fucking formal outfit. No, a formal fucking outfit. All oh, right, yeah. Outfit. It's a formal outfit that you wear while fucking. The PA system really? ending chime. The PA system's ending chime ushers in a moment of complete silence. Perhaps it is a formal outfit that fucks. That's some zero suit Samus fetish shit right there. Then, all at once, the chatter starts. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I gotta go out. I gotta ask him to go with. I even have a dress good enough for it. Tickets are pretty expensive. I'll pass this. Everyone seems excited about the sudden news. Except for that one guy. <laughs> I mean, would it really be sudden? You know prom is going to be coming up at some point. Prom is happening? <laughs> prom. Huh. The COVID. We just figured it wouldn't happen. <laughs> I guess you I would. I know COVID is happening right now. Nah, no one has masks on. Exactly what why how they would work for, for, for dinosaurs. I mean, it. What? Masks or disease? Well, masks. I mean, like, you can't exactly put the mask over the beak there. No, she just wear a plague doctor, doctor mask. Man, how have I not seen some plague doctor fang art? Someone needs to do that. Muzzle. Or maybe there is, I just haven't seen it yet. No, why would you wear a muzzle? That just, look, that just looks weird. You, and you also save that for the bedroom. Yeah, it looks kinky. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I wouldn't mind going if it's with Fang. What would she wear? No, surely this is out loud. Actually, scratch that. What would I wear? I can't afford a decent outfit. Maybe I'll mail home and ask Dad for his old suit. Couple's tickets are like a hundred bucks, too. I'm sure I could make it work if I needed to. I could not eat for the rest of the month. He's getting the food for free. <laughs> yeah, but home food. Uh. Hey, Faye. Well, settle down, students. There will be plenty of time to scheme your nights of debauchery later. 
we still have the lesson to get through. Finish this and shatter all you need. The class collectively. Go on. What? Huh? The class collectively. Are you talking now? What? <laughs> now I'm confused. The class. Intentionally, accidentally interrupting. <laughs> The class collectively throws <laughs> our heads back to groan. Oh, fiddlesticks is only two, only two pages of particle physics. You have a spare railgun in your backpack? <laughs> Just, Prof Professor Fordsworth passes out the assignment and returns to his desk for a quick nap. Eh, particle physics isn't too hard. More tedious than anything. I should finish pretty quick unless something comes up. And on, remind me, what's a quark again? You're a quark. Oh, right. Lab partners. It's uh, something you have... Is it a, uh, it's like smaller it's a, it's than the atom, right? It's a, it's a subparticle that makes up atoms. No, it gives or you more specifically, power. it makes up neutrons and electrons and protons. 80% of the population has quarks, and they give you superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> now who's the weeb? About 15 minutes into the assignment, the two of us are just about done. We're making surprisingly good time. Um, and you said that the electrons hold the negative charge, right? Yeah, yeah. Electrons are the negative charge. That's dumb, they should just call them negatrons then. The protons have positive charge, and the negatrons would have the negative charge. Fucking well, idiot. Man, just, you, you should be a scientist. Been a positron. Can't imagine when I'd be using this crap in real life anyway. You never know. You might shrink one day. Yeah, and you might stop pretending you're live streaming on you, Snoot. Ow. I... Is, is this a personal attack if you're streaming? Yes, it is. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is pretty meta. Yeah, I know. That was a pretty meta insult, but, uh, gotcha. Ow. Living your life as though you're streaming all the time. My God. <laughs> as far as you know, I might be giving you incorrect answers, you know. <laughs> sure. Sure you are. I, also, I could be an idiot and just don't know what the right answers are. He oh, said he shit. thinks he knows what <laughs> ending this was leading to, and he says it with a frowny face. Eh, don't worry about it. Also, That's your taste hurt. in anime and video games sucks, Blue Dragon. Wait, what do you mean? Blue Dragon it's, is it's a video an anime game. and a video game. Oh. Oh, so hey, Blue Dragon, how you doing? The teacher is making... I actually don't completely hate Blue Dragon. I just felt like being antagonistic. <laughs> It's also the name of Guan Yu's uh, weapon, so he could just be referring to that, in which case he has awesome taste. Who's Guan Yu? Well, you have terrible taste, and I'm leaving the stream. <laughs> Who's Guan That's Yu? Okay, excellent. I, my time has come. I'll take all of his characters. <laughs> well, she... Guan Yu is from uh, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, the uh, period of time in history in China where there was three... Uh, I don't know what to call them. Factions, families. Oh, right. The thing that so, that so many games reference for yeah, costumes. Yeah, Warriors. Yeah. Oh, and also that. Yes, <laughs> there are costumes of them in like everything. Guan Yu is one of the most famous ones. He's a horrifyingly powerful man known for having died standing up. Um, and I, have you ever... How far have you gotten in One Piece? Uh... One Piece I watched on Toonami, so we got to the end of Thriller Bark. Oh, so they haven't you haven't, they haven't really showed much of Whitebeard. Whitebeard is a lot. Heavily, heavily based on Guan Yu. I can see it now that you mentioned it. Oh yeah, because I remember I saw an image where like he died standing up with like whoa, whoa, like whoa, what, what, what? What? Yeah. Yeah. Also, his weapon looks like Blue Dragon. Kind of. Not really. I mean, it's a Naginata like Blue Dragon is, but Okay. Yeah, like Guan Yu is said to be like eight feet tall, which is horrifically tall by uh, 200 BC Chinese standards. Oh yeah, much less modern standards. Well, yes, that too. But think yeah, about even how modern even standards, more that's still two than... feet taller than probably the tallest person. Yeah, or most tall people. Well, there's on there's some absurdly tall people in the world, but 
Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, much ta taller than the average today. Way taller than the average of 200 BC China. Oh, also, hey, Gex Horde and Bongo. How you guys doing? Oh, every, every play is now commenting on the ending. Hmm. Teacher is making his rounds, checking on the students. I guess to our desks. How close are we to the ending? Uh, we're, we're getting there. Huh. Oh, hello, Fang. Are you two getting along well? Yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor Firstworth. Great to hear. I don't know what this voice is. You know, I'm real proud of you two. Cause I can't really do a good news, everybody. You see, I just can't. I can't do Farnsworth. Mm. I remember at the start of the year, you were at each other's throats. You don't stream anime? No, I think uh, Hankel was making a joke of, of stream as in watching anime, not streaming like the streaming I'm doing, Blue Dragon. Now look at you. The two of us cringe. <laughs> you posted cringe on the internet. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. At any rate, you two understand the material, right? Oh, yeah. Fang and I are fine. I was just helping them with a few problems. Phew. Remembered it this time. Amusing how infrequently pronouns apparently come up. Good, good. Well, I mean, it's true. I, yeah, because, well... Yeah, we've never really referred to Fang as pronoun outside that that very start at the start of the game. It's, it's all been internal. Though we have been mumbling. So maybe she's been hearing that. Midoriya. I won't keep you any longer then. Probably get to one of them by the end of the stream. Yeah, we're, we'll definitely get to the ending by the end of the stream. I am 99% confident on that. I won't keep you any longer then. Fernsworth meanders to pester the next few students. Anyways, where were we? Turning back to Fang, her hands are trying to cover her face. Except the frown that's impossible to hide with her long beak. Why the long face? <laughs> I will murder you. <laughs> Fang, you okay? An embarrassed smile forms as she begins to shake her head. Yeah, I'm good. I was just remembered something embarrassing. You know what it's like when you remember cringe. Yeah. What? So what'd you remember? Trish. Ha, huh. yeah, she is pretty cringe. That's cringiest. <laughs> Trish. I can't help it. I see her every day. We tried signing up to as many classes together as we could, and now I regret it. And every time I do, I'm reminded of this whole thing. I'm not good at the pronoun game, Fang. What whole thing? Yeah, the pronoun thing. Now things are different. No, I'm a he. I'm out of here. <laughs> and I wish I hung out with Nazar more than... Her. There's some disdain in the way she said it. Now that they mentioned it, Trisha has been very weird lately. Should I mention to Fang the fact that every day in math period, I try to check if there's a bomb under my seat? You're the one I see the least. It's such a shame. Fang starts stroking my hand on the table. Now, though... I've been thinking, and and I wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind if you called me Lucy. I I think I'd like it in fact. Aw. Uh, uh, are are you sure? Mm -mm. There's a fragility to her voice, a stiffness in her nod. 
But if it... If Lucy would like it, then. Alright, then. Lucy. She blushes again and looks away. I test her name a couple of times. It's a nice name. Really sweet. But... Fag fits her more in my mind. Only you, though. No, it says Lucy. Yeah, the text box changes. It's nice. I don't know if I'm comfortable with anyone else saying it just yet. Uh, I see. Thank you for sharing that with me. Now both of us are blushing. Well, if we're already in the moment, I may as well ask. Anyways, Flucy. <laughs> don't stress yourself over it. I know it's extremely hard for your mental capacity. Okay. Right, right. Anyways, uh... Prom, right? Fang's amber eyes zero in on mine. Her pleading gaze bores us through to my soul, and I feel the unstoppable urge to comfort her in any way possible. You, uh... Wanna go with me? I watch as Lucy's face slowly gl grows redder and redder. Her lips turn from a thin line to an impressively massive grin. What lips? She tries to cover up her face with her hands. When that fails to hide her growing excitement, her wings engulf her upper body. A squeal of elation penetrates the feathered cage, accompanied by the staccato beats of boots stomping rapidly on the ground. Ah, that's adorable. Huh. It doesn't pick up on high-pitched noises. There it goes. <laughs> Very faint. Once the, <laughs> once the sounds of jubilation die down, Lucy lowers her wings. She takes a calming breath and shrugs nonchalantly. Sure, could be cool. <laughs> I guess. Sure, it could be okay. I, I, I guess if you really want to, I don't mind. Smooth. The whole class is snickering. I have to fight back my own. Sadly, it was a foe far greater than I. <laughs> the shut fuck. Oh, the shut fuck. You're my date. I'm allowed to be happy about it. While her voice was petulant there, there was an underlying tone of cheer in it. I reassured Lucy with a smile, but she responded by lowering her wings until they folded neatly behind her. Man, wings are just the best, aren't they? Yeah. Thought I should warn you that I can't dance for shit. Your feet have been warned. That's fine. I'll just step on your feet first. Alright, so if you just stand on his feet, then the two of you can just... I don't know, figure something out, and no one's ever stepping on anyone's feet, because they're already on his feet. Yeah, that'll work out. Ah, oh, crap. I need a suit. You're mumbling again. And, yeah. <laughs> I could ask Nazar for his old one. I was thinking something like that. But I'll probably just ask my dad for his old tux. Yeah, you know, the, the proper species <laughs> of, of outfit. His is tailored for humans, after all. There you go. Be pretty silly to walk around all night with the wing holes exposing my undershirt. Yeah, I guess that'd be pretty silly, yeah. And then there's the tail. Oh dear. Oh god, no. But yeah, my dad's suit would work nice, even if it's a bit old. He used to tell me about the parties he went to when he was about my age. I wonder how, like, different sized tails account into, like... I bet it's tailor-made, literally. <laughs> tailor. tailor -made. Yeah, I imagine custom make or just, uh, elastic. Or zip tie. Oh, uh, didn't I say Sounds like he was a lot of fun. Anyways, you got anything to wear? My mom's already probably bought the perfect outfit for me. 
But the announcement it up on site. She just knew we were going psychically, and she's already prepared it. <laughs> but the announcement for prom was just earlier this period, literal minutes ago. And uh, sounds like it's a date then. Fake smile is cherubic. And before I could fully memorize it. Ah, oh, crap. The assignment. We are mostly done with it anyways. I look at our mostly done sheet. Flipping it over, the backside has twice the questions and four times the blank spots. Mostly halfway. Yeah, 40% is pretty good. That's a good solid F. It's better than a zero. I simply sigh and drop the sheet. Finish it at my place? Sounds like a second date. Well, technically it's the first one. Wow, the two dates in one day. Later, at my hovel of a home. Second Christmas in July. There's, there's a fantastic bit in uh, Nun Beast where the character is talking about how he does second Christmas in July. Wait, wait. <laughs> Nun Peace, did you say? Nun Peace, yes. Yeah, it's a parody of One Piece. Oh. Where, where this guy comes and takes presents. And <laughs> it's like, first of all, it would be first Christmas because it comes first in the year. Second of all, you could have avoided all of this confusion by calling it reverse Christmas. I didn't know. Almost finished. I wish I could get some help in for the other periods. This took way too long. Fuck, man. Trish keeps staring at me during class, expecting me to talk to her. I gotta avoid Reed and Stella now because they're always around her too. It's agonizing. I keep having these dreams where she bands up and I'm forced to talk to her again. They feel more like nightmares now. Rosa is too busy to help, with the exercises I mean, but I hope the camping trip will be fun. Well, it's done. All of it. Thanks, Anon. You're a pretty cool guy. Thanks, you too. You fight yeah, aliens, you aren't them. afraid of anything. No problem. I just like helping you, I guess. And without asking anything in return. You're so good to me. Look at that face on Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, F Lucy. Is there nothing you really want from me? Anything? You, you mean repay? I don't know. Things are too good now, though. More naps? Or maybe hugs? Hand-holding? Well, well, let's not get too far here. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That was pretty sick. I, I, my, my, my mind just went places. <laughs> I'm sweating profusely. Hand-holding. Really, oh, my goodness. I really hope that one went out well. <laughs> or maybe... How about something less lewd? Kiss. <laughs> Kiss? W with that huge snoot? Why? Are you afraid? Have you ever kissed a dinosaur before? Have you ever kissed a human before? Uh, I, I, I plead the fifth. No. Nice pleading the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> not even a human. Not even a human girl. Uh. Your mom doesn't count. So I'm, so, I'm your first. That's exciting. I get to take your kiss virginity. Oh, that's that's not a thing! <laughs> this is so weird. I, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. But don't you feel weird, too? I kiss shorter snouts. Yours can't be that <laughs> Literally concave snouts is what I've kissed in order to be smaller than yours. Look, Anon, if it doesn't work out won't change anything, right? Promise? Of course I promise. I'll get over here, you big fucking pussy. <laughs> and she likes that. Uh, okay. I won't bite, though I've never had human before. Okay, here it goes. W well? It's just the lips. Punk, come on. 
What are you doing? Your mouth hinges way back. I have to hang my jaw. <laughs> Don't do that. It's stupid. <laughs> okay, wait, word? wait, wait. You open wide now. It's even sillier. <laughs> oh, God, how long is your tongue? I think I almost threw up. No, 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 that's hot. I agree, that is very hot. Open wide, asshole. I would let her tongue <laughs> fuck my throat. <laughs> oh, God, oh, fuck, I think I reached your tonsils. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Let me think this through. Yeah, there's no way to do this. Let's try the other way again. Okay. <laughs> Don't open as wide. Wait. Tilt to the side. Just like that. Hmm. Oh, no. I'll probably never get the hang of this. Really? Uh, I think it was nice. I need to think more three-dimensionally here. Hold wait, on. Wait, S seriously? You're not, you're not thinking four-dimensionally, Anon. <laughs> no, what? Kiss through time! Kiss through time! <laughs> You're standing right there, and she's not there yet, but she will be in five seconds, Morty. Marty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not a bad kisser. Bullshit. Seriously, here. Don't be shy now. Pussy. Lu Lucy. Aww. I love, I love that Getting image. Better. Getting better. Mm. Feel your heart beating. So loud. I'm having palpitation. <laughs> yeah, same. It's been a few weeks since I asked Lucy to out to prom. Gotta say, things are looking up for me right now. Lucy has really taken to helping Rosa with the school gardens. Rosa doesn't force me to help anymore. But I still frequently lend a hand. Just earlier today, Lucy and I were planting some hydrangeas that were set to bloom in just a few weeks. And now I'm setting up a pair of tents. Alone. Despite being in a group of four. Two days earlier! <laughs> Everything. Stella's chat. I, I love this effect. Stella's I'm... chattering with me about the esoteric while the school delinquents get the Orwellian treatment from Rosa, who swaps between helping Fang plant some kind of exotic flower, I don't know, and barking orders. I understand maybe a third of what Stella's saying, and mostly just not along. And my third favorite anime? Nice, really important, because the moon will be in the perfect alignment for my divination. Right, right. Lunar Eclipse. Is that the one where you can't see the moon, or the one where you can't see the sun? You can't really see either, in either case. It's called a blood moon for its color. Oh man, I should have made the moon red for the thumbnail. Idiot. It's a very important night for me, Anna. Are you gonna fuck me or not? I feel as though my divinations will be at their best under its crimson glow. And my pussy. But camping. Oh, yes! My backyard is very big! Long the best way to school! <laughs> but I see the stars so nice as well, and so Stella has slumber parties often! Anon, we should go too. Wait, what? Why? We can go stargazing, Anon. Just imagine it. Oh, okay. Sorry. I have to interrupt so I can piss off the FBI, which is surely listening to the stream. Uh, <laughs> speaking of stargazing. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> what did you say? Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> where, where are you, ta where are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Biden loves watching these streams. I've had... <laughs> That's just it suddenly, I gotta show off to the FBI because fuck <laughs> no, I didn't say show off, I said piss off the FBI. I, Because I live in, uh, near DC, there's a lot of 
Air Force bases around here, so sometimes I see odd things in the sky, which I talked about before. Um, tonight, I was driving home, and there was a green light in the sky that I, I, it came out of nowhere. And at first I thought it was like coming straight at the ground. Like I legit thought like I was about to have to like dodge a meteor with my car. But then I realized it wasn't moving down. It was moving across the sky. And I mean, like from the point where it appeared like practically above me, it was about Four seconds later, at most, the thing was off past the horizon. Like, just, maybe you just saw like an that, alien. Yeah, like that fast of an aircraft. Just, it came out of nowhere and it's like, like, I, I didn't hear a thing either. There was no sonic boom or anything. You know, I'm not sure if the FBI does probes like that very often. You might be pissing off more like the CIA. I just, I mean, I'm pissing <laughs> off the government. Yeah, fuck like, you, government. He knows! Where's my flying cars? Would you want flying cars, though? That just sounds like a disaster way to happen. Exactly! <laughs> okay, fair enough. Wait, what? Why do you want a disaster? Because... He Some is, men just like watch the world burn. He, Shima confirmed for Mothman. Feel no, for the feel for the, the souls. To watch this path unfold. Ah, it's, it's fine. It's a nice thing. Also, hey, warranty voided. Thanks the for stopping it. Wouldn't care about this. But but camping, can't we just? Come on, Anna. Don't you want to watch the stars together with me? Lucy's pleading eyes lock onto mine. All right. As long as we have tents. I don't want to deal with insects. They bug me. <laughs> no! No one <laughs> laughed at that. <laughs> Fuck that joke. As long as we have tents. Me and my stupid fucking mouth. This night might get pretty intense. <laughs> In. Finally, I managed to get a post to stick into the soft soil. One down, 19 to go. He started the story making shit posts, now he's making tent posts. Ah, <laughs> uh, and now you, Lucy's gonna use those cute sad eyes whenever she wants something. And no alone time with her, since all the girls are working at the grill. Hey, you guys aren't just making dinner with that gross herbivore meat, right? Hey, you can barely tell the difference. What? I'm always prepared to serve guests! With my gross horror for Wait, which ones were wet again? What? If I bite into even a single bug, your cards are going into the campfire. And never mind, you can definitely tell the difference. The bugs! You have to eat the bugs! No, I won't eat the bugs! I told you I don't oh, like you insects! Will. You will eat the bugs if like you will like it! Hey, camping is supposed to be relaxing! Relax! I, there are some bugs that would eat if they were cooked properly. Also, when you're done with the tents, you need to strike the campfire! Wait, why me? Some fried ma fried maggots look good. Wait, wait, wait that, why that maggots of all things? I, there I was used... a uh, there was a Food Wars episode recently where they brought in the idea of smushing down ants to make a sort of sauce, and I thought that sounded okay, but I just you, wouldn't you eat a full I, fucking they, straight up maggot. They look like it's it looks so good. I mean, I you know, admittedly, some of the shit they made look like an Akuna tomato, uh, Akuna tomato, Akuna matata. Some of that shit looks delicious, but I think they make it look a lot more delicious than it actually is. No, yeah, yeah, like, cartoons fried, definitely fried, up it. Fried maggots is an actual thing. Yeah, I know, but I think you probably just watch too many horror movies involving maggots if you want to eat them. No, I just think that fried I, maggots. I like frying things. I wish to contest. I don't think it tastes like chicken. Probably not, but it I... tastes like frying oil, and that's always good. You know, technically, uh, crustaceans are insects. No. Not insects, but bugs. Bugs. I meant to say bugs. That's, I mean, well, it depends on your definition of bug. They're, well, they're in the ocean all the they, time, so you know they're clean. 
the literal definition of bug. There is no literal definition of bug. I mean, they're crustaceans it's, are, are mollusks. If I mean, if we're just saying mollusk is bug, but then a lot of things are bug. Do you think a snail is a bug? See, again, bug is not a scientific term. It's just sort of a colloquial thing. Isn't it like an order or a class or something? I forget how high up that Bug word. is not, no. Insect is. And I'll just eat the peas. <laughs> Rosa and Stella flinch and exchange glances. Oh, just figured you know it all. Why would, why would I... Hey! The principle fits the bill so well. <laughs> uh, I, oh, I lost track. Racism. What are they talking about specifically? They're wanting He's a nod to man. start the campfire. Oh. <laughs> they, they want the human to start the fire because humans Whoa. are good at that. Ha. Casual racism. I guess it's just him. Not all humans are good at fires. Hey, come on. Quit teasing him. Who cares if he hasn't involved in the fire yet? I trip into the tent and tear the whole thing down. Or shelter. <laughs> By the time I get both of the tents standing, the sun is nearing the horizon. Oh no. My back already hurts from setting everything up. Nearing it as in setting, okay. Also, if they need it, I mean, if they got the grill going, why do they need anyone to light the fire? That's Good. very true. Just, it just, could have just carried the fire take, from the grill. Yeah, it just takes some Unless it was an electric grill, I suppose. I mean, if they're going herb before me, I feel like they probably wouldn't grill properly. Luckily, Lucy carries around a lighter for her cigarettes, so I was able to sm start a small fire. I slump on one of the logs around the fire pit and try to massage my soldiers. It went too high. Her voice, was... her voice left the stratosphere. <laughs> Oh, is the food ready? Oh, Lucy, I'm getting some plates to use. Just taking a seat for a minute. Ah, thanks One for moment, oh. thanks for inviting Lucy and I to camp back here. Oh, don't thank me. I'm very happy to have friends over. Although normally I struggle to making the tent stand. So clearly I must thank you for setting it up for me. I guess you have evolved up in the shelter. Oh, uh, it was nothing. Stella calls out from the back door to Rosa's house. She's returning with Lucy, both holding extra utensils and snack foods. Rosa waves them over. What's the point of camping in this situation? Well, I mean, look at this backyard. There's like nothing for miles. It's a big backyard. Except for apparently their house. Are you, you... Oh, yeah, but I mean, besides that, it's, otherwise, it's just a wide open range. Go in the house! No. Where's your sense of adventure? Where's your romance, Hinkle? It left when there were bugs outside. <laughs> That's what the tents are for. The tent the tent is just a, a... It's a thin layer of nylon. It's just enough manliness in order to be better than the house. It's just a net for the insects. You wake up the next morning and now you just have... You are now wrapped in a cocoon of bugs. I don't think you yeah, set up tents inside. right. I never pictured Fang coming over. Lucy is really lucky to have you. Stella struggles to separate the false shish kebabs from the real meat before handing me a plate. <laughs> Lucy gets that look in her eye and snatches the bigger one right off. Fine. Even I drove there. I believe, I believe it best we sojourn from the fated ones, Rosa. My scrying glass awaits. What? Uh, what? Lucy, I don't be whatever Stella, the fuck you're that Lucy. was. It was so confusing, said... she forgot who she was. <laughs> no, uh, that, that's how confused it was. I forgot who you were for a second. Hey, giggle, 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 I believe Stella means that the sun is setting and we need to go set up her telescope. Then why didn't she just say that? Rosa and Stella take their plates of imposter kebabs and start walking to the other end of Rosa's yard. You know who my favorite character in Harry Potter is? Who? 
Luna Lovegood. Was she really all that involved? I thought she was just like a kind of a side background. I mean, they didn't even introduce her until the fifth one, but she was fairly important from that point onward. Um, I mean, side-ish in the same way that like... I mean, God, in the fifth book, she practically was on the same level as like Ron and Hermione. She was there in the climax. <laughs> Giggity. Um, <laughs> I think she, yeah, she was involved in the climax of the sixth one, too. Hmm, it's been a while since I read those. Fag shrugs at me and starts devouring her food. With nothing to do but wait for nighttime, I also begin to remove kebab. Uh, I mentioned Luna because Stella reminds me of Luna. Oh, is she doing divination stuff? Yeah. Blech. I think Stella undercooked this. Give me some of yours. No way. You have your own. But mine's raw. It's and I want yours too. Raw. Well, I want yours too. You're supposed to share with your girlfriend. Damn her and her filthy tarot logic. Fine. You can have a bite. Yay, I win. I hold out the meat on a stick for her. She grins wickedly. I realize my mistake as I watch her maw widen and engulf the entirety of my kebab. Now, When she pulls away, I'm left holding a crispy yet clean wooden stick. Stolen food is the best food. <laughs> well, that was uncalled for. What if my employees legitimately nom noms while she's eating? Nom nom. That just sounds yeah, very obnoxious. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's okay. I, I, I hate yeah. it when people breathe when eating, so to actively be making noises is just... Ugh, why? <laughs> Here, you can have the gross one. Lucy hands over her undercooked kebab. Whatever. I like it rare anyways. You should be thanking me, then. She leans She leans her head on my, onto my shoulder. Into my shoulder. Into oh god, she broke my shoulder! <laughs> Ugh, this really was undercooked. I, I, I hold the stick over the fire to char it a bit more. Nice. That's just going to burn the outside. It won't cook inside. Can't be harder than roasting a marshmallow, right? Did Rosa bring any? Think so. Save your kebab stick for them. Hey, I've roasted hot dogs over a fire before it get it, it gets through i mean a hot dog's already cooked so you don't so you're just that would still work out pretty well i mean you still get it it's like yeah you know. uh, i think i'd rather use a regular stick off the ground than get a greasy marshmallow all right i could you could roll with that just get a knife whittle off the edge heh i'd rather a greasy marshmallow sounds kind of good yeah i have to oh depends on the grease yeah, probably. I mean, kebab, I could probably Steak work with that. Yeah. I mean, probably after the first marshmallow, all the grease would be gone, and then you're good. Lucy and I listen to the crackling of the fire for a few minutes. Somewhere in the distance, I hear Stella yelling at Rosa about leaving the telescope cap on. Rosa said earlier that I'm lucky to have you. You feel lucky? I'm thinking it's the other way around. I'm feeling really unlucky. <laughs> I do. I do. Rosa was right. I wouldn't have thought about going camping back in the first semester. I guess I really have been changing a lot. Man, I'm liking this guitar. Your kebab's on fire. Hot shit! I blow out the now burnt chunks of meat. Uh, flambe? Lucy snorts. Chewing down on this. It's not the worst thing I've eaten. Yeah, honestly, I love a good char. Still want a piece? She just holds her mouth open. Oh. <laughs> Best girl. I put the stick in biting range, and she gnaws the chunk off. I think it's Luffy. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not undercooked anymore, that's for certain. Looks Remember that like scene, Shima, in One Piece, where, uh, there's like a whole serious conversation going on and just like in the background Nami is slowly inching a chunk of meat towards Luffy's face. I have the gif of that. I <laughs> like to use it a lot. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. You know? This is the most romantic pre-prom event. It's it's very yeah, very nice 
comfy romantic. Yeah, this isn't real. <laughs> of course, then again, I mean, just a camp camping is just always a good feel. So that's always going to no. elevate no matter what Incorrect. kind of scene. Wrong. Oh, shut up. You have terrible taste. I'm sorry. I don't like nature. How nature is wonderful. I say as the environmental management major. Also, Mr. I used to be named after a tree. It's incorrect. <laughs> Looks like I poured jet fuel on it. Lucy leans back onto her, into her arms, staring up at the night sky. I finish off the stick and join her. We were young and unafraid and ready to start. Stella was right. The stars look great out here. Reminds me of home. Stars do? <laughs> an, in, an interesting uh, moment of them hearing his inner monologue. I love it. Hmm? Stars do? Oh, yeah. Mumbling. Yeah. There, there wasn't a lot of light pollution around rock bottom. In the brief time I was in Scouts, I got to look at the constellations a bit. It's the only reason right there I want to go camping. Somewhere really? way out in the middle of nowhere. So, so I, I want to see the night sky. Can you not see the night sky? Did, I feel like we've had this exact conversation before. I don't I, remember. I don't feel like you are aware of what the actual night sky looks like. I mean, I kind of live in the middle of nowhere, so I can see the sky and stars and stuff very clearly. You are incorrect. Okay. Hold on. Name? Really? Name a few. There, I'm putting it in DC context. I don't remember now. <laughs> this was like a this decade a ago. Real honest to goodness picture of the night sky. Okay, I need to see this. I mean, yeah, that I've seen. I mean, not the stars that to that degree, but I do get a view kind of close. Okay, that's second one, I think. Here, I'm no. See if I can drag it. Can I get this? No. The, uh, there we go. Okay, this when, is what uh, Hinkle's talking about. That one, I could, I could see. I'm, but this one. When, this when one I feel is Photoshop. Um, this one has it, to be a shop. There, there was a blackout. Oh, I, I can't say that I've seen that, but I've certainly seen something like the bottom one before, I think. Like IRL. I mean, I could see maybe like them shopping in the tree and stuff, but the that sky is real. That When there, when there was a uh, blackout in New York City, there's a, like, I can't remember what it was, 60s, 70s, somewhere around there. The funny story is that uh, people were calling 911 because, uh, they were seeing strange white clouds in the sky. It, it, was, it was literally just the stars. They were seeing the stars. They did not understand what the night sky was supposed to be looking like. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Yeah, it just bothers me so much that we have obscured our view of what the night sky is supposed to be. I mean, I feel like you probably get closer to that living in any non-coastal area. Move to, I the, mean, move to the Midwest guess, or something. I mean, yeah, I don't... Look, away from go cities. Pretty far. You gotta go pretty far from civilization to get away from the noise. The, the, the light, light pollution. pollution. I mean, because I don't live in a particularly populated area, but it doesn't really matter. That was the L.A. blackout. But yeah, it's, it's sad. There you go. Oh, yeah, I could definitely see that for LA or any of the Californian cities. And, and also New York City, I can see that. It's basically the big ones. God, wow. Hawaiian. They don't see snow and they've never seen proper night sky. Why would you ever live in California? Orion is uh, my favorite constellation, by the way. Mostly it's because I can identify it easily. It's, it's pretty easily identified. That's why I like the... It's, I wouldn't. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I certainly like the Big Dipper uh, because it's the you can always see the North Star. You can always find the big. It, it was also in Men in Black. You can also always find Orion because of uh, Battlegeist or Beetlejuice, depending on who you're asking. Okay, just don't say it two more times. It's uh, the orange star, the top right shoulder. Okay, don't say it one more time. Battlegeist? 
God damn it. <laughs> Orion's belt. Anyone can fucking name Orion's belt. It's also not even the constellation. Uh, Big Spoon and Little Spoon? I'll be the Little Spoon. You mean the Dippers? Oh, no, I was talking about us. Wow. Oh. <laughs> also, yes. Also, yeah. Lucy hums and scoots close enough so I can wrap an arm around her shoulder. Her head leans on my shoulder, and I can't help but smile. Something like this, then? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> eh, close enough. I think you can see Mars, too. It's supposed to be the red one. Uh, I think that's the moon, Anon. I, uh... That's the moon, Donkey. had an astronomy class uh, in college, and we had really high-powered telescopes, and I got to look at Saturn, and it was really cool. Oh, Are... An does Anon actually think Mars is that close? I mean, sometimes the planets can get pretty big, but I don't think Mars gets that big. Yeah, it's not that close. It's not that big. You never seen snow because you live in Florida? Blue Dragon, I am so sorry for you. Snow is great. Winter is my favorite season. Well, actually, no. It kind of flip-flops between winter and fall because sometimes it gets way too cold and the heaters and the heat stops working and I hate it. My favorite season, fall or spring. Uh, Every other season has too much sun or too much cold. See, I like the cold and I like the no sun. It's, it just gets yeah, really comfy. I, that's true about winter. It gets all cloudy and everything's better. But, yeah, it, it, that's why I can't sit and categorically say my favorite is fall, because end of fall when there's no leaves in the trees, but the clouds haven't come in yet, fucking worst. And the sun is, like, perpetually low in the sky all day. There's just nothing worse. Like, I think winter mornings are probably some of the most comfy. A little cold, but... Mm. Yeah, but then you can bundle up in a big blanket. Where you live, you're used to it. True. It's been a the while. The part about where, living in the middle of the country is that you uh, get all the worst of every season <laughs> and get used to none of it. It's been a while, okay? Cut your boyfriend some slack. Never. I feel her head shake as she withholds a snicker for my sake. For my sake. God, now she's yeah. keeping the candy to herself. Still managing. She's not gonna satisfy you. <laughs> I ate it in one bite. I bet she could eat a whole bar in one bite. Probably. Like a full like size a full. snicker. Races. What? It's a candy bar. Still managed to get my badge though. Aren't you the big strong man? Eh, fuck it. A compliment still a compliment. You gaze okay. up at Case of oh, other so night. I was talking what? to the uh, the people in the chat. Uh, yeah. it, that's the other thing about winter. When you actually have to start fucking shoveling your own sidewalks and driveways, uh, winter becomes a lot less fun. Um, although I will say, that's a part of the beauty of living in an apartment building. Oh, I do shit. I guess that's the half. I guess that's one half thing uh, that's been upside. I've never had sidewalks in most of the places I've lived. We have a driveway, but no sidewalk. So you just gotta. Do you in like the country or the city? Outskirts of city, I guess, would be the best. It seems like exactly where you would have sidewalks. No, just just don't. Okay. We gaze up at the night sky in companionable silence. Look. Lucy points to the sky at a shooting star. Well, hey. You got a wish? Not a shooting star, dork. It isn't? I look again. The star is joined by several smaller dots trailing behind, in the sky for only an instant before disappearing over the horizon. Oh, Hinkle, it's what you saw. No, never mind. That's what a shooting star- a meteor is a shooting star. Whoa, a meteor shower. Stella's incomprehensible- Excited gibberish breaches our ears. Lucy, you know the shooting stars. Ah! Lucy lays down on her back to get a better view. A little dirt on my clothes is worth the moment. But no, uh, 
a meteor slash shooting star is what I thought at first, but I've never seen it something move that fast before. A shooting star does not move that fast. Maybe it was a really fast shooting star. It didn't just fade away. It just like completely just it went across the horizon. It went out of view. It was yeah. Man. I I mean, it could have been. I guess it could have just been a really, really fast shoot. I don't know why it was green, though. Maybe uh, some weird a, sky I've filtration. Seen a, I've, seen a, I've seen a green shooting star before. Maybe it's just the color of how it burns up in the atmosphere under the certain... Like, maybe it could be a it, certain chemical... Yeah, maybe it was just made of copper. Huh. I mean, or, again, or maybe not made of copper. circumstances just... made it very, very, very fast. Man, being here with Lucy after such a wonderful night, I feel like no matter what, everything's going to be just fine. I feel the same. I'm just going to start biting my tongue. That hurts. Thank you for being here with me, Anon. I mean, this was all you. And Rosa and Stella, too. No, you big dweeb. I mean... You've always been there for me, even when I was so mean to you. I don't know what kind of road I was going down when you met me, but... But I know it wasn't a good place to be. I don't know where I was going to end up if I never found you. You saved me, Anon. I'll yeah, always be grateful. father didn't like him. You saved me, Anon. I'll always be grateful for that. She sits up and looks down to me with that warm smile of hers. You saved me from being non-binary. Thank you. <laughs> what a horrible fate. <laughs> Hearing her put it that way. Maybe I did fix Lucy after all. She seems so happy with how things are. It doesn't matter if it was all part of someone's stupid plan. You're welcome! Oh god, when'd she get here? Lucy's fingers dance across my cheek. Slowly, slowly, ever so slowly. Her eyes lid as she leans forward, her head tilting and her mouth opening slowly. It's taken a month for us to figure this out, but now that we've had practice. I raise myself up, my own mouth meeting hers in a slow and soft connection. Her tongue slides along mine, and this time she manages to not gag me with it. No, gag me with it. <laughs> Our first through 14 kisses never went this smoothly and it's utter bliss as we savor each other's lips. And while I would stay like this forever if I could, air is very much a necessity for life. We separate just as slowly as when we connected. Lucy's eyes open as she smiles impishly at me. I love you. Yeah, me too. She giggles and lays her and lays down. Her hand, her head resting on my shoulder, and her wing becoming a blanket as we look back to the stars. Wait, so if they, that was 1 through 14 before this, that means they've only kissed every other day for the past month. That's pretty normal. Huh. Yeah, I guess they're still starring the relationship. I mean, okay. What? I don't know, like, what, what are you expecting out of this? I just imagine you have at least, like, oh... See you tomorrow, kiss goodbye, like, after school or when she goes home or something. Frequently on the cheek. I guess. We stay laying a while longer, keeping the Red Moon company. If a chance, I really did write a book about dinos and magic, Tales and Scales, the Empty Throne. Oh, that's neat, Blue Dragon. picture of Ryan Gosling. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, just to make a little segue, uh, so I've mentioned before over on my Twitch stream, I've uh, mentioned uh, the emotes. We got... Wait, wrong one. I got Faye. Oh, you have your three core emotions. Happy, upset, and sad. 
So remember, twitch.tv slash Kazard. For free, all you need to do is just follow. Twitch.tv slash Kazard? Yes, twitch.tv slash Kazard. All right, I'm going over there right now to get my three emotes so I can properly emote myself over the internet. (laughs) You get these emotes. By clicking the follow button. When is next stream? Well, if you're talking over on twitch.tv slash Kazard, E. Smith, uh, tomorrow, be streaming Amori. I'm going to get back to that. Twitch.tv slash Kazard? Yes, twitch.tv slash Kazard. Eventually, we'll get back into the Phoenix Wright games, too. Yes. Phoenix Ray at some point, probably a little after we do all the snoots. If uh, you're into weird voices with mediocre acting. In- well, I mean, they're already here for that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. One month later. It's prom night. My old man was kind enough to send over his old tuxedo from his time at high school. You don't own him! I took a bit of sewing. But I got it looking pretty good. Also, wow, keeping on to it all the year, like, I don't have my suit I wore to prom from high school. I doubt it fits me anymore. Judging by the wine stains on the sleeves, Dad's made of a lot of important announcements in this tuxedo. Gives it what a if bit. my proms was literally within walking distance of my house and I didn't go? <laughs> I didn't go to my prom, but me and all my friends just hung out at one of their houses and played video games. Gives it a bit of history, I guess. How can you not like her? Holy moly, guacamole! Holy <laughs> son of a cockamole! Uh, how are her? How are no, his? No, no, okay, no. I'm sorry, but that cements her as best girl. I have such a fucking cheap how weakness. <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! How is his? The how is his? Holy mother of God! How can any tasteless son of a bitch not like this? How are Nazar's parents okay with this? Ah! He's like 40% I've never, naked. I, I've never wanted to pound scaly puss as much as I have at this very moment. Holy shit. Man. Why, you guys just don't love wings, do you? No, no, no. I mean, no, if, it's if, not if, Fang, relevant. if Fang was wearing a cheap how, I might feel the same. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Jesus. It, it's sleeveless too. It just had to be, and, and and the glasses. It just had to be fucking glasses. <laughs> I know she's worn glasses before, but Jesus. What I'm I, sorry, but that's really cute. Whoever drew that, you have my props. When I arrive at Fang's place with a cheap corsage, I see the pomegranate parasite waiting outside the front door. Great. And dear God, how could she move in that dress? The top half it looks. It doesn't have legs, Anna. I can move quite easily in it. Doesn't have it doesn't have anything on either side! The top half looks like it's been shrink wrapped to her body. And I'm 100 percent certain there's nothing beneath the bottom half. It's just a really high riding fall! Yeah, wait a minute. Where was I mean, the underwear? Even it's high really- <laughs> Even high riding, I'm pretty sure that that's impossible. It's extremely high riding! <laughs> also high on all high already knocked! Uh, she could be wearing like a there's a name for it. I'm just gonna call it a pasty. That's not the right term. I I I I, I get the gist of what you're going for. Yeah. Nazar will be out in a moment to invite us in. I'm sure Fang will be getting ready too. Yeah, there's nothing even remotely resembling <laughs> traditional underwear there. <laughs> it's just really high up. It's above. It's above the waistline. <laughs> Anyways, I've heard the two of you are going to prom together. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Sherlock Holmes. Speaking of which, Shiva, uh, how far are you into Case Two? I, 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 like I said, I've only just started Case Two. I've seen oh, the opening okay. scene with Holmes, but I have not gotten any further. God, I love Sherlock Holmes so much. God, this is a this is a brand new record for how soon the same person has been accused of a crime. <laughs> uh, no spoilers for Kaz, of course, but my goodness. Yeah, Holmes is like a major part of the series. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, imagine that when he was in the trailer when they announced the remake. Yeah, they advertised him pretty it hard. So hilarious. No, I just happen to be here in a suit to go golfing. I ignore her, focusing instead on not, on not stabbing my palm even more on this flower's thorns. Ah, eh, fuck it. Free is free. And nothing more free than a five finger discount from a, the neighbor's yard. 
did you two sign, the sign up for prom king and queen? Nah, she said something about the fascist sexist monarchy system. I love that! <laughs> well, that's what I invented Jesus and we're Christ. going to- It what? is so, it is, yeah, it really is, like, it's so tight on her, you can see her belly button. Well, that's what I invented and we're going to be prom royals and don't believe that I'm trying to read! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to wear that beautiful tiara! I picked it out and everything! And the crown for Dazzer? can see everything! <laughs> oh, la, 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 I understand la, 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 her outfit right Maybe, la, 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 maybe, like, she somehow is wearing underwear only on one, like, the covered side? It's- I mean, uh, I, would that- how would that even work? It's- I- I'm, I'm only being half-jokey when I say it's just a really high riding thong It goes above the hip line. It's a thing. It is a thing, but it I'll also it. would need something holding. I mean, I guess everything's. All, there's also you'd be able to see it with how tight everything is on her. God, I mean, what a pretty parasophorus. I mean, that is a good point, is that you're seeing the belly button. I guess there is nothing yeah. under there. I've already tuned her out. I, how can you tune her out? Nasser opens the door. I hope he's just, like, completely dumbfounded by what he sees. Well, if that isn't the fa fanciest jacket I've seen in a while. Certainly better than that background of Avatar he always wears. Sorry to keep you waiting, Naomi. <laughs> this thing is a nightmare to get over my wings. I have to. Right, come on in. Didn't know you were. Yeah, it'd be really easy for one of them. <laughs> he waits for the two of us to enter, pecking Naomi on the cheek when she passes. Peck. <laughs> Fag's mother speaks up from the kitchen. Oh, oh, is that it? Here we go. I just assumed it was Anon saying. I, I like the sparkles just hanging around Naomi. Sparkle, sparkle! I packed so much glitter into this! The, the small pterodactyl comes out, a bull she's struggling to stir in her arms. Damn it, shit. We're gonna make her a Samus joke, then they could have at least made her tall. My, aren't you handsome? Well, maybe she's like, maybe she is tall, but everyone else is fucking dinosaurs. They are fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> pictures! I need to get pictures of you and Lucy! I mean, if, if she was tall, that would also make Anon a giant human. Definitely not taking pictures of Nazar and Naomi because, holy shit, that would qualify as porn! <laughs> she sets the bowl aside on the coffee table to frantically search for a pol Polaroid camera. I think Lucy would have such a wonderful young man to take her to prom. Aha! Found it! Hold still, dear! Ah! It's like getting slapped in the face by the sun's dick! Hey, he probably said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty hot! Yes, because it's the sun. I blank the blindness away. So that's why Na Nasser has those fucking aviators. Lucy will be dead. Oh. The sun never sets on a badass. Lucy will be downstairs in a bit. She's just getting to the lag. She's just getting the last of her makeup on. I'm sorry, sometimes I have strokes. Oh, I'll get those! <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, take a seat. I've got some cookies in the oven that are almost ready if you catch my drift. Oh, thank you, ma'am. And no, I don't. Good. I take my seat in the usual spot, sinking in and feeling the pillows conform around my spine. This thing must cost a fortune. I'm starting to wonder, I was about to say, uh, is it inappropriate for Naomi to be culturally appropriating a Asian dress? But then I realized, could she, I mean, are, are Parasophoruses just coded e a Asian in this? Yeah, I mean, her name is Naomi. I mean, uh, there's it, that, it, it, but also, who cares It's a dress? Yeah, you'd be surprised who cares. <laughs> no one around here, I'm sure. 
<laughs> Fig's dad is a police commissioner, if I recall. That explains the luxurious furnishings. Now that I think about it, I'm surprised I haven't seen him yet. The type A personality is actually very, um... Oh. Stereotypically Asian in general. Teleports behind you. <laughs> personal. <laughs> Everything personal. I hope I didn't just ruin these slacks. Uh, good evening, sir. I didn't even see you in your chair, sir. My apologies. Don't sweat it, son. Thing about humans, as well as many carnivores, is that their vision is based largely on movement. <laughs> You'd be surprised how effective staying quiet and stationary can be. How close you can get to someone without them knowing. I don't like. Too late. I don't like the smirk he has saying that. I'm practicing the art of staying very. Please, heart. Oh God damn it! <laughs> no intimidating the suitor. I wasn't really intimidating him, dear. I was making conversation. At this point, I do feel like he's doing it more for the, the joke than being serious. Her name is Naomi and has a Madam Butterfly complex. She probably is Asian. Oh. <laughs> the big guy deflates a bit in his chair. Point is, don't get any funny ideas. He's got a don't mean, I don't he's mean, a super uh, positive influence on your daughter, so fuck off. No, you <laughs> don't. That's exactly what I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> No, we're turning the fuck off. We're all taking the NASCAR, right? Yeah, yeah. No limo for us. Once Fang gets down, we'll skedaddle. So until then, we just sit and chill? We can take more pictures! Fucking rib cage. <laughs> Please, no. I know what you meant about strokes. I've had two so far tonight. I'm pretty sure it's my rib cage is getting crushed. <laughs> oh, I would love to make this a little photo op. Wait, wait, Take who took that last one? <laughs> automatic. <laughs> 30 photos. Hmm? He got all photoed out. There's going to be none left for Fang. 30 photos <laughs> later, and I never want to see a ca another camera again. A picture of him with Naomi. How upset he looked. <laughs> uh, and the fact that Fang's mom wanted a picture is adorable. <laughs> Just and me. Fang's mom decided to take pictures of every possible combination of us. I don't know which was worse. Having to post with Naomi or Fang's dad digging his murder claws in my shoulder. Daughter, I return the favor. <laughs> I've nearly lost all feeling in that arm. Oh, you're just gonna reward me then? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, pretty sure that'll leave a bruise worse than my accelerated hug with the stair bollard last month. Ah, at least the pics with Nacer were a nice repre pre reprieve. We ended up looking like the Blues Brothers, standing side by side in fuck ugly suits. I'm trying to think of the stupidest combination. I guess like Anna, Naomi, and Fang's mom. Why would that be stupid? It was really weird. They have nothing to do with each other. Oh, I, guess, I guess there's a point on that. Just as I was about to resign myself to premature blindness from the camera flash, my savior arrives. Oh, Hanon, you're already here. Yeah, you took forever. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Lucy comes downstairs in a white dress. She's like an angel. No one told her that white isn't her color. What do you mean? It is her color. She's practically white already. Yeah, that's the problem. The back of the dress. No, she's light. She's light. She's like a light teal, and the and the dress is a. Uh, I guess you would call it a cobalt color. So I'd say it goes together. Color coordination and silver kind of lines with it as well. 
Hey, you got all this glitter in the air. That's mine! <laughs> the back of the dress trails down the stairs behind her. Can't say I imagine she'd ever willingly wear one of these. Yeah, been here a while. Your dress looks great, Lucy. Eh, she's a member of the itty bitty titty community. Just like oh, her mom, don't... What? Just like her mom, apparently. Uh, her mom seems to have more than her. At least she has bigger uh, elbow feathers. <laughs> oh, doesn't it? It's not the, the boob size on the outside that matters, it's the boob size on the inside. When I got the school's email, I knew right away that the pr that the precious little getup I saw shopping the day before was be just perfect, and I even got Nazar's outfit while I was at it. Well, would have been fine just going to church clothes, for the record. Um, I'm noticing they're both wearing crosses, little cross necklaces. That's true. Oh hush. The two of you look like your father and I when we met at school dance. And that's not creepy at all. How would that be creepy? Is there brother and sister? Oh, the look just like, okay. Yeah. We all look at Nazar's rather colorful getup for a moment. It was somehow still less loud than his usual jacket. <laughs> Come again? Oh, yes, I remember it fondly, right, dear? Lucy's father hasn't moved from his seat. I don't know. Do I? Oh, yes, I remember you in that snazzy zoot suit. You saw me by the punch bowl, strode right up, and offered me a dance. Um, stop! I'm trying to create the mental image. Nope, can't do it. That look her dad is giving me. It's saying, you'll be upgraded to a putter if you ever speak if you never speak of this to anyone. I can see where Fane gets her temper from now. Fine by me. Aw, oh, but Lucy, you look so precious in that dress. Nasser looks like a Mafia member, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, the glasses definitely pull that look in. He reminds me of, he reminds me of Finn from Jackie Chan. Finn? I never oh, Finn, the cartoon! Yeah, okay, now I know you're talking of. I never really watched the cartoon. It was, it was one of the main bad guys. Or the henchman of whatever the bad guy was. The pink and white. It's a, it's... Take it back, men! Pink and white is a good combination. It could be masculine. Yeah, it works. Oh, did you read that right? Yeah. Also, pink and brown specifically is good together, too. Like, the brown of his skin. I can see that. Hmm. Grayish. I don't... You know, yeah. Oh, we need more pictures! Every uh, new combination that involves Fang! Also, I noticed that uh, Nacer's arm scales... I guess the guys have scale stuff out. They're very irregular. Yeah, they're very rocky. Pretty gross. The tiny pterosaur tries to push Lucy next to her father, fighting with the duo to pose properly. I glance at Nacer, who seemingly resigns himself to countless more photos. Uh, I think we're going to be late if you take any more pictures. Both Lucy and Nacer are not in agreement to that. more pictures, you'll be able to show the... <coughs> you'll be able to show these when your own children are going to prom. Oh no, she's dying. She's having another stroke, it's natural. <laughs> Bit early to think of something like that. I feel a tug on my arm and spin around to Naomi giving me a look of... unfiltered frustration. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Lucy, there's a string coming out of your dress. Where are the scissors? I'll get them! Head on, come with me! This way! Uh, why? I don't even live here. It's, uh, the scissors are kept on the top shelf, and I can't reach! I mean, 
should I show it? You have to get them for me. She pushes me towards the kitchen. I don't even know how Nacer doesn't catch on to what she's doing. What are you up to, Naomi? She pinches the bridge of her nose and exhales slowly. Look, normally I would be thanking you from the bottom of my warm heart for fixing Lucy and Naz's relationship. They're siblings and that's how it should be. Then what's the big fucking di- Let me finish. However, I don't think Lucy is completely fixed. She's still not talking to me. She still just runs away from everyone at school now. And Nazar just keeps texting her. I had to call him out on that when he was slacking on his school duties. Behaving like a crass idiot like you. Just like you. Why have you, what have you done to them both? The only thing I've done is support her. I didn't do it for you or your stupid plan. I just want to have a good time with Lucy without any more bullshit. And I'm, I swear to God almighty, if my night with Nazar is ruined because of Lucy's... Naomi's sneer vanishes, replaced with her usual false smile. But okay! Okay, Happy's back! Okay, you two deserve it after everything you've done! Suddenly, I feel another tug on my arm. This time, Fang's mom dragging me back into the middle of the room. Wait, hold on. Okay, so her tail's kind of medium length here, but a few bits ago, look how long oh, it is here. No, it's you know, the tail length. Also, has this been... is a very this was a very sudden break. We've never seen this side of her before. I can only assume it's been introduced to Anon outside of like in the time skips, which is why he's familiar with it. But that's that's like this is very out of character from our perspective, isn't it? I think it's supposed to be out of character to Anon too. He just doesn't care. Well, I mean, she she was saying the whole set like when we were at the park how she purposefully set them up together yeah. well yeah but i think that was just to try to get you know true she she did kind of she wasn't like on. upset then suddenly i feel another tug on my arm this time fang's mom dragging me back into the middle of the room no need for scissors anymore oh and on i never got any pictures of you and lucy yet Oh, please, God, no more pictures. You gotta take a picture of your prom date. Fine, but we really should get going if we want to. Just a couple. I can even send these ones to your parents. I bet they're just as proud of you as we are of Lucy and Nazar. I'm sure they're just as surprised that I'm actually going to prom. With a dinosaur. Posing with Lucy is nice. I make extra careful... I make sure to be extra careful where my arms go in front of her dad. <laughs> I spot <want> sex. <laughs> <laughs> the searing strobe lights finally end, and I can feel my early onset of blindness. Those photos need to have a special album all their own, honey. We need another photo album! Mom! Oh, fine. Make sure to have fun at prom. I glance over, and Lucy's dad catches me dead in the eyes. Oh, by midnight. Yeah, see, look, his arm scales are all nice and uniform. You'll grow into them. Yeah, fair enough. I only manage a weak nod as Lucy rushes me to the door. The ride in the NASCAR is awkward and uneventful. Nacer didn't chuck his jacket into the back seat as a divider, so Lucy and I could sit next to each other this time around. That Spears may be giving a little musical number tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff rumors around from the junior class so that was just a rumor ah oh, damn what you want to hear him sing some opera no i certainly pay to see him try good lord no my ears take enough abuse from him during the school day he won't be singing but he did get reed to be a dj for the night his only condition was that he that he got to wear that mascot costume, which is rather odd, but whatever. 
Everyone aside from Nasser involuntarily sighs. What? Was it something I said? Oh, because he hotboxes himself inside the costume, I see. Okay. Pulling into the school's parking lot by the gym, I take in the view. The students str strung up various strings of lights around the overgrowths of vines around the school. The line to get in isn't too long, and it only takes a few minutes to get inside. Inside is about as well decorated as outside. Those nerdy little Chinese lanterns are strung about from wall to wall. Oh! They go with my dress! Wow! It's almost like the person who played the entire event has insider information onto the on the decor. Color me surprised. What fun! Mumbling. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, tell I'm telling you about your mumbling. Fuck. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I think I'll hit up the catering first. What about you guys? I'll pass. I can't afford any fancy food. Surely you don't pay for it. <laughs> it's fucking prom. You paid $50 to get in. Wait, what? 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 The price of food is including the tickets, man. How poor are you? Poor is Anon? Oh boy, let me tell you! <laughs> no. We're not... so poor. Okay, go fine. Ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, you go ahead. It's okay. I live in Skin Row, remember? Sorry, forget I asked. The thought of being able to eat for an actual human for once. Eat like an actual human for once, R.A. pushed Nature's apology out of my mind. In that case, I'll go get food for both me and Lucy. What you want? Uh, get me the closest thing they have to barbecue. Oh, Nazar, if you're getting food too, could you give me a plate of kakamaki? Kapamaki? Kapamaki. Kapamaki. What is that? It ain't wacky, it's Kapamaki! Wrong country. Well, now I gotta see. Kapamaki. So what you're saying is you're leaving Fang and Naomi together. Great idea. Kapamaki is a common sushi roll variety consisting of seaweed. Oh, okay, so it's just Japanese sushi. Wrong country. Nacer slugs me on the shoulder. Ow. Oh, he's once again saying it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're playing waiters for a bit. Seems that way. I wonder what the lanterns say, because they each have different characters. They say, fuck you. <laughs> I follow him to the food table. <laughs> I don't even recognize most of these dishes. I get a heaping plate of seven or eight different dishes for Lucy, and pick out a steak for myself, grabbing a few nice-looking sandwiches from the other end of the table. Okay, now I haven't been to a prom, but steaks? Yeah, no, they're not sit-down meals. Of course, then again, they are dinosaurs, so a steak could just be like a normal dish for, like a yeah, casual like, dish for a dino. Finger food. Yeah. Wait, did you know that Anon's so poor he chases after the garbage truck with his grocery bag? <laughs> Oh, wait. I have to get drinks, too. Oh, fuck. My hands are already full. You got everything? Don't got drinks. Oh, we can always do a return trip. Oh, I guess. Hey, is this what Lucy would want? Honestly, man, you could probably get her to eat a rock if you told her it came from a cow. What the hell? Really? Hmm. Idea for next prank. Cow rock. <laughs> this is my cock. It came from a cow. I see. No, you don't want to say that. You don't want her to eat it. You don't know what I'm into. <laughs> uh, true. You have said some very weird things. Actually, so as to not... <laughs> uh, so as to not negate the things that I have said before that were true, I will say no, I do not have a 
Penis floor fetish. Well, that's something entirely different. Phaser starts heading back to where we left the other two. He suddenly stops halfway through. I have to catch myself from dropping the plates. What's wrong? Nacer gestures forward. Naomi's attempting to talk to Lucy, overwhelming her with questions. Lucy's looking on edge. I should probably intervene quick. This is very nice, Lucy! We should go out together! We should go... Da, 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 da. We should go... Da. Ah! <laughs> sorry! Sorry, the dress is constricting me! Your dress is very nice, Lucy! We should go out together clothes shopping sometime! There we go! Got it! Nailed it! Lucy! I, uh... Oh, come on! You're in need of new friends right now, right? Why don't we... Hey! We're back! And we have food! Naomi turns her attention to the plates Nacer and I are carrying. Is every girl in this game just gay for Fang? I don't think that's what it is. I think she just wants to have the perfect relationship with her boyfriend, which includes having the perfect relationship with her family. That would also make sense. Oh, Nacer, did you get the sukiyaki? Okay, now it's sukiyaki. A sukiyaki! Sukiyaki. Sukiyaki! It's a Japanese dish prepared and served in Nambe Mano style. It looks like a stir fry. It looks like a stir fry, but each ingredient is separated inside the pan, so you don't mix it all together. Interesting. Oh, uh, I guess I forgot. Sorry, I'll go run and get it. That's fine. I was getting to be friends with Lucy, yeah. Lucy pushes herself away from the table and strides away. Uh oh! See, that's what friends do! They leave each other! I leave. Oof. That actually sounds really depressing if you think about that for a second. <laughs> I leave the plate behind and chase after her. Lucy has retreated to a back corner of the gym. Just, I just can't, Anon. Then don't. God, I'm doing it again. Everyone just wants to have a good time, and I'm ruining everything. It's all right. I caught a glimpse of Nasser and Naomi away at their, at their seat, enjoying themselves. I think Lucy saw the same thing, because she snapped back to me and wrapped her arms around my waist. You know what? No need to be upset. Nasser and Naomi aren't my prom dates. You are. She breathes in and lets out a comforting sigh. I looked around for any witnesses, feeling very smug. That suit does kind of stink, not gonna lie. Confidence shattered. Oh, there you two are. Our principal strides over to us, sliding off a few papers on a clipboard he has. Lucy. There you are. That surprise you wanted is on that ready. Surprise? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the one you filed papers for a few weeks back. That's... Oh, I'm just, so noticing, I'm just noticing instead of the little spike band, she's got a little flower on her horn. Yeah. This is so obvious. Everything's ready for it. Gonna douse you in pig's blood! No, <laughs> Is a surprise you giving an opera number? I'm on a pretty tight schedule tonight, and don't have don't have the time for jokes. But I'm, se I'm, I'm serious. I want to see you sing. Follow me. Spears leads us around the crowd to the temporary stage set up at the other end of the gym. Oh, uh, they're gonna play. You you signed up for something? Jesus Christ. I don't think so. Why would Naomi think this is a good idea? Or maybe Trish did it, actually. Oh, you're on in ten or so minutes. Lucy freezes. On? Jesus. Surprise! 
That is very flowery dress Rosa has. I love, I love what she's wearing on her tail. <laughs> Gold chains. All the all the prom outfits are pretty nice. It's uh, very hard to see the top half of Rosa's dress for a few seconds. Like <laughs> yeah. I just see the dress, I just see the flowers underneath, and I don't notice that there's actually a top half to it. I thought she was just fucking going top. Uh, like, there's also a lot of boob showing on both her and uh, Trish. I, I guess Stella too with yeah. the with the line. Although like she's got the constellations too to go in with that whole astronomy thing. That's horrible. I said surprise! Oh no. Oh no. Trish, Rosa, and Stella are carrying around various instruments and equipment. Trish is visibly exhausted and stressed. How are you doing, young man? After restart, DJ Vic. What the hell is this? So, Fang? Fang, we get to play at the prom! We have all the instruments ready. I brought in a regular guitar for you to play. I don't mind. We can play whatever you want. What do you say? Lucy is completely catatonic by this point, unable to respond. I... what? Oh, Anon, didn't you see... didn't see you there. You, you look less dorky with a suit on, let me tell you. <laughs> you came with Fang? That's sweet. Reed's also coming. I don't know if he'll manage in the costume, but he'll play the drums. What do you say? Whose idea was this? It was a group effort! Huh. We're here to help, right? We've noticed Lucy's been struggling by herself! The expected stares of the trio snap Lucy from her stupor. She flinches a bit, then bolts out of the backstage area. Rosa and Stella look as though they only just now thinking that this was a bad idea. Yeah. Well, I'm so surprised they were a part of this. I feel like Trish probably lied to them, to some degree. Trish's smile melts from her face. What were you thinking? Anon, please tell me, is Fang fine? She was fine, Trish. Now look what you've done. Where do you think you're going? Trish tries to leave, but I manage to grab her shoulder. I'm, I'm going after her. Jesus Christ. Wait, I don't... Damn it, Rosa pulls my arm free, letting Trish run after Lucy. Let them solve this. I'm sure Lucy's at a point where she can deal with this. She most definitely is not, Rosa. The one who needs to be at the point to deal with it is Trish. <laughs> she can't have a conversation with her without it becoming just... Awful, awful. I was just going to use that word. It, I, it'll be very surprising if Trish manages to, to pull this off. God damn it. Why'd you have to pull a stunt like this today of all days? Also noticing Rosa has the sparkles around her. Could you have tried this bullshit any other time? Who do you ever say I didn't? I've been talking to Lucy for a while trying to get her to make amends with Trish. Huh? She never told me. I drew her the world and the sun, the Warudo and the sun, past this night. She'll achieve completion fulfillment. It's a good thing, Anna. For your sake, I hope they were upright. Does it matter if they were upright? What do you mean? I flipped the cards after I got back from the bathroom. Rosa, what did you do? Yeah, peaked. The world was upside down, so I fixed it. And I go get Fang. No need to tell me that. 
I leave the incompetent bunch behind to look for Lucy. Is that important? Stella, is that important? I, I thought it was just for play. Oh, Rosa. Back in the gymnasium, I find Lucy huddled in a corner. Her hands are on her head as she tries to block out Trish. Trish, for her part, is only shouting even louder. Loud enough for me to hear as I make my way to my girlfriend. You never thought about me all this time? Seriously, say something! Trish, I can't even look at you anymore. But I'm wearing this sexy dress. Why? <laughs> Is it still what I said? Yeah, a lot of things you said. I accept you and Anon. Seriously, you and him are cute together or something. I didn't mean oh. any of what I said about you two. That's convincing. Oh, I accept you guys. You're cute or something. It wasn't just that, it was everything else, the shit you did instead, making me question years of my life. What are you talking about, Fang? Come on, let's play. This will be the Verm Drama's biggest show to date. I don't want to. Come on, let's go. Trish is only thinking of herself in this. Yeah, said she's concerned about that being the band's big moment. That's that that's the uh, that's the par for the course for Trish. No. He says I don't want to, and her only response is to repeat what she wants. <laughs> Trish. My shout shocks the desperate tris Triceratops away from Lucy. I glow her as she turns a sickeningly sweet smile towards me. Anon, if I did or said anything that hurt you, then I'm sorry. That's if, 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 right, if, yeah. if, if, in a world if, where she, if, did, in a world where she wasn't, she didn't blatantly do something. Like that's an understandable statement. But my God, when she did what she did and then says, "If I did anything that hurt you," and then apologizes, that's just the most insulting thing. <laughs> God. But please tell Fang I'm sorry too. This isn't right. It's, it's like yeah. she's just gone delusional. I hear footsteps behind me, and I already know it's the rest of the loser patrol without looking. Lucy, you have to give Trish one more chance. If you're not going to do it for her, then at least do it for me. Please, Lizzy, you need to hear her out. Me and Reed miss us. Together, shooting the shit, playing songs, making fun of Nazar. No! See, I feel like that's also... Off. Yeah, that did cut off after the no. Fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> no! Fuck off! Also, I feel like that's... I wish I could say it louder. I feel like that's one of the worst things you could say. Oh, she just made amends with her brother. Hey, we can make fun of yeah. your brother. Yeah. Well, I don't know if she's aware of that. I mean, she probably oh, isn't. Me. But it's just funny. Come on. Guys, you're overwhelming her. Back off for a sec. Stay out of this. Rosa, Stella, take a look around at this current situation. Once you realize what you're doing, please just leave us alone and don't bother us for the rest of the night. The two shut up and sheepishly back away for a few back away a few steps. What are you two fla flaking on me? Well, what are you two flaking on me as well? Wish I'm uh, thinking out on the lights here. Maybe we shouldn't be intruding on their special nights. Yeah, my reading was wrong, though. I can't believe you two. Of note, Reed isn't in the scene. He knows this is a train wreck. Yeah, probably after the last one, he probably's not trusting Trish. He is also DJing right now, though. 
Yeah, you might have picked up on that uh, on where Can this you make the is. text box real quick. Yeah. Look at Dem abs. Oh wow, yeah. Her tight. Her, her dress is also very skin tight. Oh yeah. No one can breathe tonight. Also very short. Yeah. Just like her. Hey, we're playing now. I'm not asking again. Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah. That I'm now slipping. She takes hold of Lucy's forearm and moves to take her back to the stage by force. And this is when you punch a bitch. Rosa blocks her way blocks her way long enough for me to grab her wrist. Rosa, hey. Trish glares at me with murderous intent. Try again another time. She yanks her hand away from me in disgust glancing between Stella and Rosa's disappointed stares at Fang's baleful leer. I guess that's it, then. She backs off into the crowd. Lucy, are you alright? Yeah. I think I need to get away from the crowd. I wave off Stella and Rosa and lead Lucy away into the hallway. We find another corner near the bathrooms, unpopulated, aside from a few students passing by for smokes. Lucy looks like her entire world has crumbled. Are you alright? Let me help you. Come on, please. I just want to move past it. Okay, then. I don't want to see or talk to anyone anymore. Not even Rosa or Stella, just... just want to see you. Only you. It's alright. You won't see anyone else anymore tonight. Lucy's chuckle is choked back as she offers me a strange smile. Aww. There, I did it again. I ruined everything for everyone again. How do I respond to that? None of this is your fault. She sighs. I need to go to the bathroom. I... It, yeah? I have such a little trust for that statement right now. Which part? That she needs to go to the bathroom. Uh-oh. Uh oh, yep, I, I know what Hinkle's picking up on. Uh, I'm getting concerned. It's okay. I'll go get some water or something while you're in. Won't take a minute. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I watch her enter the restroom and re-enter the gym. I think there's lemonade and stuff by the food tables. Hey, you. Raptor Jesus on his cross of rock, give me strength. Hey. Is Fang okay? No. Tell me about Fang, are they happy? I say so. She and Nasser are on speaking terms. Did Fang say anything about me? Would they ever forgive me? Look, Trish. This shit, it ends now. She said she would have constant nightmares of you wanting to talk to her. Maybe this could have been sorted out. But not today. You're doing more harm by staying here, though. I, I advise that you stay clear of her for now. Trish is getting teary. I better shut up, now. It's okay. Tell F Lucy, I only want her to be happy. I won't be a bother anymore. She'll never see or hear from me again. I told Spears to cancel the performance. I'm going home. Maybe there will be another chance, sometime. Bye, Anon. She left. Oh well. You were actually scared of that part in your playthrough. Thought it would end up something like Everlasting Summer. What, what is that, Gexord? What's Everlasting Summer? I'm guessing another sort of visual novel, right? I, uh... I wish Trish could get more resolution. I wish she could stop being such a psychotic person. But... Her endings where she handles things better. 
I get the drinks. Maybe this, one of the endings, maybe this is one of the endings where she just does not recover. I get the drinks and return to Lucy. She downs the whole glass in one shot. Oh, thank God. I was a little concerned he was going to come back to a bloody mess. Well, I mean, she's good at hiding it, so hold you, on. Well, she is wearing a white dress. You have to be pretty masterful to hide anything on that. You good? Yeah. Flashing your face with water works wonders. I'm good to go. What about your makeup, though? I look at the crowd gathering around the stage. Principal Spears moves to the podium set there and taps on the oh, microphone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good to go. Speaking of, uh, uh, want to get some fresh air? Finally, I see a real smile from Lucy. I hope that in order to cover for their act being cancelled, Spears actually is going to go upstage and perform. That's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, fresh air sounds pretty good right now. I hold my hand out, and Lucy's hand links with it. Ah, oh, this is nice, but I'd like to hear the caveman sing. Walking out of the stuffy gymnasium, we're met with the cooling evening air. There hasn't been a choice in a very, very long time. I feel all the tension leave my body as Lucy's body presses close to my side. Cold? A little. I'm not used to, uh, wearing these things. My hand leaves hers. Be before Lucy can balk, I wrap my arm around her. How's this? I can one-up this. Right. Wings. Her wings wrap around us both as a feathered cloak of warmth. You want me to call a taxi or something? Nah, we can walk home. It's a 15-minute walk to our neighborhood, which is filled with comfortable silence for most of the way. I guess Lucy is as glad as I am to put everything that happened tonight behind us. And you got her back home way before his dad said. Or her dad. Ah, yeah, he's gonna be impressed. <laughs> before, like, he gets back, it's like, wow, you, you were not even gonna attempt to try something? God, you're pathetic. I expected something. I think that's what's about to happen with this. As we round the corner past the bus stop, I let out an audible groan as my eyes land on a particular cart. Yeah, there was a route with one girl, and everything was kind of fine, but not quite. And then she just cuts herself. Oh. Oof. Oh, so did Everlasting Summer do, like, a Doki Doki Literature Club or something? Just looks all nice, then sudden... Oh, no. It's that same hot dog vendor from before, illuminated under a streetlight in the same spot. I want to date her. She notices us, oh, notices us almost immediately and begins wildly waving. Uh, does she know you? I shrug and shake my head as we continue to approach the vendor. Well, if it isn't my favorite skinny, and you brought your lady friend. It's I like, mean, that's racist, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 10 at night. You can't get that many customers this late, right? Wait, Shima, what did you say? I mean, that's racist, but okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you here, ain't you? Now, what can I get for you two lovebirds? Nothing says date night like some Stephen Hot Franks. Uh, I think we're good. We're just on our way back, and... Uh -oh. Fang's face grows bright red as she gasps, as she grasps her stomach. Uh, we left before we could eat, didn't we? Oops. Eh, well, no one ever misses prom food, right? Even though they had fucking steaks there. Prom? Oh man, I was I was the life of prom. I was the life of the party of mine. Tell me, you kids got Reef City's dumb mascot? We shake our heads. What? Well, you at least spike the punch, right? More shaking. Seriously? Please tell him to gag the principal's car. No, we don't have a death wish. <laughs> yeah, we yeah we like living. <laughs> uh, I got into a fight. The vendor winces, but just as quickly puts on her smile. 
that's a bummer. You know, prom was where I discovered hot dogs were my true calling. That could Don't be ask how. that could be read many different ways. <laughs> they could be yours too, you know. <laughs> oh no. Right. I don't think it will be. Look, can we just get, like, some food? Our night's been a fucking wash. Night's still young, though. I listen to the sizzling meat as we wait. Look, kids, prom? It's not that special, if you ask me. I thought you just said it made your whole life. If I discovered I liked hot dogs, that's not really making my life. <laughs> what makes something special is on you. For me, I think back to the shit I can actually remember. A lot of drugs. <laughs> Coffee's? Oh, the yeah, carpet's a hell of a drug. I'm getting off topic. Point is, the night isn't over yet. She motions to the table for us to sit at. Enjoy your dogs. Think about something to do with the rest of your night. Like annoying your dad. Make it something worth remembering. I'm gonna start packing for the night, though. So that's enough chatter for me. Thanks. Hey, you know, that is pretty good advice. It's what you make of it, not just these specific events. Ah, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Lucy and I sit at the plastic folding table with our artery clogging grease tubes. Hot. I had grills these sometimes, but I've never had one that wasn't just ketchup and mustard. Wow, he puts just ketchup and mustard in a bun? <laughs> I mean, I can't even tell what's all on this. There's so much. <laughs> Sorry, she didn't mention a bun. <laughs> it's just There's a so much... pile of ketchup and mustard. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a bunch of chili lapped on top of a sausage. There isn't even a bun to hold this in. <laughs> There isn't even a plate, I'm just holding a whole bunch of chili and a hot dog in my bare hand. They're just plain chili cheese dogs. Been a hot minute since I had one. Figured why not. Chili dogs. Chili dogs. Yeah, she made a good point though. What should we do with the rest of the night? Lucy chews contemplatively. Contemplatively. Not sure if she heard me or is giving a silent review. Whatever we do, I want to get out of this dress first. Oof, oh well, then I know what we're doing. It's freezing. Wouldn't you want to put more clothes on? <laughs> Think your dad will let us watch the movies or something? I don't know. Maybe. We only have cop movies and hunting documentaries, though. Hmm, concerning. I'm Very. down for it. After finishing, we wave goodbye to the vendor and start down hey. Lucy's neighborhood. Finishing. Oddly enough, there's no cars in the driveway when we arrive. Oh boy. Your folks get groceries this late at night? They probably took the opportunity to go on a date themselves. Oh, good for them. I don't remember the last time they took the occasion, though. Been maybe three years? Lucy kicks over a rock in the walkway and gets the key taped under it. Your parents put it there instead of under the doormat? Nah, I put this here. They don't know about it. <laughs> Smart. I get kicked out for the night one too many times, you find ways back in on your own. Lucy stretches when we walk in. I'll change back into normal clothes. Hang here for a while, okay? I sit. I nearly sit in my normal place on the couch when I notice the armchair. The now vacant armchair. Oh, come on. That's, That's for Lucy's dad only. Yeah. Oh, Do how it. it calls to me. <laughs> Do it. Dare to dream. Phew. That's better. That was fast. Anon? Lucy, what are you doing up this late at night? You better not be listening to that ratchet again. Oh, my God. Anon, get out of there before you leave your scent. Sent. You can't be serious. Hey, it's your head on the line. Nazar sat there once, and he ended up with a new scar. Suddenly, I find myself seated in my normal spot after all. I think they actually are on a date. If that's the case, the house is all ours for at least an hour. 
Oh, sweet. We got Rage Your Dad's liquor cabinet then. Man, Anand just has a death wish. He's very brave when he's not in the house. <laughs> he doesn't have one. Mom won't let him. <laughs> Damn it. He really is whipped. So... And Anon's just a punk when the dad's not around. <laughs> Fucking say it in front of him. Think it in front of him. So, uh, movie night then? Well, I was thinking. Lucy took hold of the coffee table in the middle of the room. It started pushing it aside. Uh, why are you doing that? With the living room now more open, Lucy approaches an antique stereo in the corner. I thought that was going somewhere else. <laughs> I was I was really looking forward to dancing with you tonight, Anna. No. Double damn it. Thought I managed to get out of that. But but the look in Lucy's eyes. I nod my head. Yes, I've always wanted to try out Mom's lights. The music playing from the stereo sounds positively ancient. Probably well for parents' CDs, if it even uses CDs. CDs nuts. CD. <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> damn you! Wait, what was that about lights? Lucy practically skips to the light switch and dims them. You think that she can, like, really flutter when she skips because, like... The wings? Yeah. I mean, probably. Also, look, best girl gets even better. Did she paint herself, or does she just she, randomly luminescent? She then she flicks a hidden glow. switch that casts the room in a hazy violet glow. My eyes are drawn to the glowing marks all across her. No, it was wow. actually just the last person who had sex with her came in a very specific manner. What you see? She turns back to me, and the anticipation in her eyes makes me feel more nervous. Shit, I just remembered. Just so you know, I can't dance. And I mean, I really can't dance. Like, quadriplegic with Down Syndrome can't dance. But... Yes, I've been waiting since forever. Her hand clasps mine, and Lucy doesn't seem bothered at all with how moist my palms are. <laughs> we move to the impromptu dance floor hand in hand, until we manage to find an open space. Right, okay, um, like this? Right hand on her hip, I think. I try to take her right hand with my left, but Lucy shakes her head. Both her arms wrap loosely around my neck. Lucy's body is pressed against mine, the contours of her lithe frame fitting very well with mine. Oh, hey, those alarms aren't broken. <laughs> my left hand lands on her hip too. And now I can't stop thinking about how Lucy molds against my body near, near perfectly. Just follow my lead, okay? Mom gave me some lessons. I nod stiffly. Lucy mutters a 1-2 count before taking a left step back. My right foot follows and lands on her toes. Ow! Sorry! No, 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 D don't worry. Just, uh, slowly, okay? Yeah, okay. Lucy repeats the step back. I step forward and manage somehow. She then steps to the side, and I try to follow. Our awkward steps continue like this. A couple successful steps, and then I ruin it with a heavy step on her dainty toes. But slowly, those failures are less and less common. By the third song... Lucy and I are finally managing a basic waltz. By the third song, Lucy and I are finally managing a basic waltz. As the night goes on, the dance becomes more natural. I like it's actually like they're actually waltzing. Yeah. In the light of the various strobes, I'm able to relish this the moment being this close, face to face. Whenever one of the lights passes directly through her, whenever one of the lights passes directly through her eyes, they glow with the luster of cut amber, and her diamond pupils soften. There's no one else in the room right now, just us. League, Justice League. You think it's going well? 
what? Our prom night. It didn't go as planned, but I like where it's taking us. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else right now. Me neither. The last dog slowly fades away, leaving us at a comfortable silence in each other's arms. Under the black lights, I could fully take in Lucy's beauty. I felt humbled that she considered this horrible night to have still gone well. Lucy's eyes become lidded as she leans in towards my face. I meet her halfway, our mouths melding together. The song's been playing for a while, any second now. <laughs> for all that happened tonight, and still Lucy enjoyed it. Three oh, months I late. I, I thought it was going to turn on, like, last second. What? What? And then having the dad show up. Oh, just... Uh -oh. Like, they mentioned they went through the whole CD. That's got to be at least an hour. That yeah, depends. Also, I like the, uh... Like, you got the one mark here. It just works really well with the, the eyeliner. Even though you won't see it most of the time. I, I just I like, see it. I, I just like the bioluminescent marks. Just in general. Very nice. Three months later. Eight months since I first joined since I first joined Volcano High, and it felt just like yesterday. Or four weeks ago. The sun bears down on us in an atmosphere that's more water than air. Somehow, I feel like I'm the only one feeling the heat right now. But the jacket stays on. Ugh. Nacer finally took a day off from his part-time job, working for Grub Club, so the three of us went to the park for something of a picnic. I will not make the delivery dance, and on stop asking me to do it. <laughs> At least tell me how often customers ransom your tips for it. Too often. <laughs> Look, I would love to see that actually happen. Now stop asking. <laughs> Lucy tosses a fork full of the chili cheese fries out to Nacer's shirt. He jumps immediately to his napkin to wipe it off. Uh, oh shit, no! Relax, you're wearing another anyway. How and why, I still don't know. It's for conditioning. Can't stop my training routine, even in the off-season. Naomi isn't even here leering on you like always. I'm dying here in just one jacket. How are you even alive? Well, my skin is plate. <laughs> I toss a fork of fries on the other half of his shirt. Luffy o Lucy offers a fist for me to bump while he recoils with half-finished expletives. Luffy? <laughs> Yes, we're One Piece now. I down the rest of my soda to keep alive and look down at my plate. Not really that hungry anymore. Should just toss. Hey, whoa. Don't finish that thought. Gimme. <laughs> he really needs to stop thinking out loud. I shuffle my plate to him and rest my elbows on the picnic table. A familiar voice, chock full of cheeky energy, alerts me to her and her food cart's arrival. Well, if it ain't my favorite high school sweethearts, haven't seen the two of you in quite a spell now. How are you two doing? What you been up to since graduation? Well, you know, the usual. Uh, dreading the future as an adult, trying to figure out what to do for a living, stuff like that. Oh, maybe we skipped over graduation. I thought that would be a big thing. Too bittersweet for this. Maybe it's another ending. Mm. The more you think about it, the more daunting it becomes. You just gotta let go of your expectations and see where life takes you. Lucy makes it sound worse than it is. We've only been out of school for like three months. Only three months? Gosh, I could have sworn a lot more time passed since then. Now that's something I can wholly agree with. These last few months have felt like years to me. Both in good and bad ways. Excuse me. So, 
Oh, you two have any plans now that you're both adults? Wow, chicka wow wow? The vendor's words, without realizing it, strike a very specific and very sore chord with Lucy. She suddenly wraps her arms around herself and shuts her eyes. Before I can move to reassure Lucy, the street vendor notices the error of her words. What's wrong, Shug? Was it something I said? No, I... It's nothing. Are we supposed to know what's bothering you? The street vendor gives Lucy a raised-eyed look. Now, Shug, I can tell when someone's upset, and you right now are upset. So what's got you down all of a sudden? Lucy hesitates on hearing the words. She takes a second to seemingly think about what she'll say next before letting out a sigh. It's just... things are changing so quickly. Man, it feels like I'm losing everything that I've come to love recently. Lucy shoots me a loving gaze before returning her attention to the street vendor. There's also the fact that I... I'll be so alone. You alone? What about that hunk of boyfriend standing there next to you? I do my best to try to and hide the blush that's no doubt forming on my cheeks. He's... I mean... Lucy lets out another sigh. This one more on the frustrated side. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. Oh! Oh my bad, I didn't mean to, uh... Join the military. What the hell? Well, remember at the start of the game, his dad gave him the ultimatum, college or army. I had wanted to bring this up here, on the last date Lucy and I could have. Yeah, he'll be gone, and... I... I cut off contact with some people. Ah, you fell out with your old friends? Lucy gives the street vendor a sad nod. I don't really have any plans for the future. I... they always seem to change and I could never decide. The street vendor gives my girlfriend a soft, understanding look as she places down her tongs and walks around her food cart so that she's standing side by side with Lucy. I lost contact with my old high school friends as well, so don't go thinking anything's your fault. But what I see here, you still have what's most important. She gestures to me, and then to Naser, who looks up from the remains of my leftovers like a deer being caught in headlights. Uh, you got those from Burger, right? That's no, still Street Fighter. Oh, oh. I just saw the yellow one. <laughs> uh, you got those from Burger, right? You know, she put sawdust in the fryer to save money? <laughs> Anyway, don't fret about friends or people you've lost along the way. Like he just gets shocked at hearing that. Yeah. I know it can be hard, but that's not the end of the world. You still have your health. You still have your youth. You still have your family. The street vendor turns her gaze back to me and gives me a smile. You haven't managed to scare nope. me off. All now, now, now it's now Nazar. It's oh, damn it! <laughs> I just I'm not looking at the name. You yeah, haven't managed to scare me off after all these years. Why did I stop? It's the street vendor. It is the street vendor. Okay. Oh, look at me getting sentimental like I'm my grandma. I shouldn't be gushing like this. Your situation is probably much more complex than I think. No, no, that helps. You're right. I still have lots of people here for me. The street vendor seems satisfied with the answer. Don't get distracted by the what ifs. The should haves and the only ifs. Only thing. Only the things that you choose from your. For, ah, God damn it! Only things that you choose for yourself are the truth of your world. The street vendor gives Lucy a pat on the shoulder before returning to the helm of her food cart. But she wheels around with surprising dexterity. Hey, if you ever feel alone, need to chew someone's ear off with your woes, me and my delicious hot dogs are always available. But you don't have ears. 
They got chewed off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be such an insensitive prick, Anon. Oh, right, right. Without another word, the street vendor walks away in search of other customers to cater to, leaving me and Lucy to absorb her sagely advice. Before either of us could truly process what had just happened, Nacer walks up to us, all the while wiping his hands and mouth with a napkin. So, oh, you guys ready to go? I feel like that's mistagged. Well, that's, yeah, we'll, life we'll see. Hold on. No, all right. I give Lucy a glance. She returns it somewhat somberly. I possessed him! <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> we both turn to look at Nasser. Yes. All right, I'm guessing, yeah, that was mistagged. <laughs> what a silly moment. Nasser drives us back to my place in relative silence. He stops in front of my block and unlocks the doors. See you tomorrow, man. Yeah. Well, enjoy your last night together. Lucy and I step out of the car, and he speeds away like normal. Can't stick around skin row. I've already shipped everything important back home and donated the books. Even the TV's gone. All that remains is the basic commodities the place came with. Ah, oh, yeah, it's really all empty. Also, fuck his parents for the ultimatum being college or military, because <laughs> neither is a particularly good choice. <laughs> I mean, he could just work, he could find a job. Yeah. But with Lucy here, it doesn't feel nearly as depressing as I thought it'd be. She must have heard this as she pressed closer to me, her head resting on my shoulder. I can rent a movie on my phone for tonight. That sound like a plan? Actually, I wanted to look back through the pictures we took together. I nod in response. Oh. We curl together on my bed, staring at Lucy's phone app boot up. <laughs> Aw. Summer was well spent. Lucy and I got to go all over town. A well-documented series of escapades from local farmers markets to a guided tour through a docked warship. <laughs> so I guess that's the warship. Warship. I like that. She's Museum. That. Food market. Potatoes. Uh, I don't know. That's the warship. That was the warship again. I can see the background. Alright, now we loop. Lucy and I share frequent clips and anecdotes about our experiences. I want a sign that says unauthorized access oh. only. There we go. Uh, all the friends. All the friends we made along the way. Surprising she's keeping pictures with Trish. Despite everything. She was a major part of her life. True. Eventually the timeline goes back far enough for some familiar faces to start showing up. Unwelcome familiar paces, faces that get that quickly get swiped past. As we keep swiping past older photos, I can see something in Lucy's eyes. I find it hard to describe. A mix of sorrow and longing, and something I can't put my finger on. Lucy? My interjection snaps her out of her mood, as she sets her phone down gently on the empty computer desk. Sorry, I... Her eyes linger on the cellular device. I have at least two other phones with pictures in them. I don't think I'll ever look through those now. Or maybe I'll do it when I really feel like letting go was the best direction. Lucy casts her gaze around the barren room. It's not really fair to delete them, though. I could just forget about them. I'm good at forgetting things on demand. I take her hand and give it a reassuring squeeze. Lucy sighs, and her exhaled breath seems to expel her mood. I look at the clock and nearly jump. We had been looking at all those pictures for a long time. Long enough that hunger once again finds us. I move to the kitchen and look through my mini-fridge. There isn't much left, just some green onions, a few pieces of beef, and five eggs. 
Meanwhile, Lucy looks through my pantry and cupboards for anything else to cook. After a minute, she comes across two cups of Packy Man ramen, just a week shy of their expiration dates. I have discovered a new recipe! The meal prep doesn't take too long for two adults. It isn't the most filling of dinners, but it will hold us over quite nicely until morning. With our feast finished, and with nothing else to do now that all my stuff is packed and shipped off to rock bottom, Lucy and I just return to my bed. I close my eyes for a bit, trying to get lost in my girlfriend's warm embrace. Suddenly, I feel a jab on my ribs. I look down at Lucy, who's poking at my chest. Uh, Lucy, what are you doing? Oh, just making sure. Making sure of what? You know, that you're all healed up. Lucy, it's been five and a half months in the ac since the accident. I'm pretty sure I'm healed by this point. Lucy doesn't stop poking me. Oh, that's cute. Faithing, she increases the ferocity of her pokes, going not just for my chest, but also for my stomach and my armpits. L Lucy, cut that out! Speeding up. I try to be stoic, but I can't help but giggle as Lucy turns into a literal tickle monster. <laughs> I, also re I decided to return the favor by also poking at her, starting with her stomach and gradually moving up to her chest and armpits. That's inappropriate. <laughs> Finally, I hover a finger over her snoot, a mischievous grin spreading over my lips. Lucy's eyes widen. <laughs> Anon, don't you dare. Don't. I let out a giggle as I poke her snoot. Snoot. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. That seems to do it, and Lucy pulls me closer to her, wrapping me in a tight and warm hug. I return the embrace, tempted to resume my tickling assault but far too comfortable in my tarot GF's embrace to care about anything else in the world. As our laughter dies down, it comes to my mind that this might be the last time I get to hold her like this. Well, I mean, you're not gonna die. I'm going into the army tomorrow. I'm going to get shipped off to Raptor Jesus knows where. There's a good chance I might not be coming back. Brings my situation into a somber light. I double my embrace on Lucy the more primal part of my mind, unwilling to let go of her. I raise her up and press my head against her chest. Her heartbeat greets me. It is soft yet hastened, like it's trying so desperately to come off as calm and relaxed when it knows what terrible future awaits. A heartbeat I may never again hear. It almost breaks my own heart. I can feel Lucy's hands trace along my shoulders and across my neck to cup my face. Her angelic hands ever so gently guide me to look into her eyes. She has a smile with a hint of mischief. Before I realize where this is going, her finger lands on my nose. Boop. <laughs> Aw. Her smile widens to a playful grin, and I can't help but join in. Such a beautiful sight to behold. How can I resist? I inch closer, and our lips meet. All in all, it wasn't that bad a night at all. I woke up absolutely spent. Are, is sex is implied? Question mark? Yeah. Okay. I'm covered in feathers, and Lucy's ambrosia scent hangs heavy over the bedsheets. Ambrosia. Lucy's already awake, and she's bathed before me. It just doesn't feel like that led to sex, but the sex is obviously implied. I mean. It's the last night together. Now she's rummaging through my fridge for whatever food we have left. Rather than waste time asking the obvious, I decide to hit the shower. As the water strips away the last strips away last night's scent off me, I get to thinking how Lucy must be feeling right about now. I imagine what tomorrow will be like, not just for me, but also for Lucy. How, suddenly, She's about to have another big change thrust upon her life. 
the third or fourth one this year. From the non-binary thing, to the band, to the betrayal, and finally to having a human boyfriend. Only to have him go so abruptly. I'm surprised she hasn't gone insane after all she's endured. We're all insane. I open the bathroom door. I see Lucy sitting on my bed, staring blankly at her phone and swiping across messages. What's up? Hazard said he'll be here in about an hour. Knowing him, it'll probably take about 40 minutes. Ten bucks, he leaves another set of skid marks on the road outside. I sit next to her on bed. Where are you checking? Old messages and photos. You know, it's, it's weird. There's not enough pictures of you in here. Hold on, let's fix that. Aw, look at that smile. Look at that smile. Lucy raises her phone and points its camera lens at me. Stop smiling, you look retarded. <laughs> I hate it when you grow a mouth. <laughs> Alright, cool. He goes silent again for maybe a minute or two. The overbearing silence is broken when Lucy lets out a heavy sigh. Do you really have to go? At this point, yes, legally. I can't help but let out a heavy sigh of my own. Today, I'll get on a bus, and it'll be a Michael Tarpit movie for a few years. I honestly never thought these last few months were ever gonna end. Oh, it's Michael Bay. Michael Tarpit, okay. Because <laughs> it's oh. Dino. Mm -hmm. I honestly never thought these last few months were ever gonna end. There's a heavy silence between Lucy and me for a few seconds. It, it still feels wrong to me. You know? That I'm still too new at this boyfriend stuff. That I'll never get the hang of it. That if only I had a few more months of practice, maybe I could be better at it. Lucy lets out a short snort. Short snort. I mean, you're not that bad at it. Most of the time, anyway. I let out a singer, single bitter chuckle. I must have been the single most boring die boring guy you've ever dated. Lucy lightly punches me on the shoulder. That's bullshit and you know it. If anything, I'm the boring one. Lucy deflates as she grabs onto her right arm. I mean, take away my spikes, wristbands, and stompers, and what do you have? A naked pter pterodactyl. Of course you would go there. That, the wonderful girl that single-handedly changed my life? Huh? God damned mumbling. <laughs> I, uh, I never really thought about it. Suppose you try... Suppose you trying hard at being tough was endearing to me. At least when you weren't physically assaulting me. There was something else, though. I knew it when we were talking on the rooftop. I wish I knew what that was. Lucy cringed, her hands moving to cover her face. Emotions warred across her face as she tried to form coherent words. I can't... I can't stop wondering what you saw in me back then. And all this time we've been hanging out, I still can't comprehend why you stuck around us. Me. I could stare for a moment, and a memory smashes its way to the forefront of my thoughts. Glancing at her for a moment, the expression on her face sort of reminds me of something. It was probably just leftover embarrassment from the concert, but she seemed to have a lost look on her face. Or maybe it was confusion. Or a mix of the two? Either way, there's something on her mind. I can't help but think that's how I must have looked on my first day. I think I felt like you. Lucy stares at me pleadingly with those beautiful citrine eyes of hers. For the longest time, I didn't know who I really was or what I wanted to be. I tighten my grip on Lucy's hand and share de stare deep into her eyes. Lucy, whatever you want to do. Lucy, in response, glances away in what almost feels like shame. 
almost instantly, I realized why. It was your idea. The two of us wanted so badly to avoid the subject, and yet here I was, dredging it up and twisting the metaphorical knife deeper into the wound. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring her up. Please, don't think about Trish that way. She's not at fault. I'm just a fucking idiot. Lucy. I just forget that I have to walk in eggshells around certain topics. Lucy puffs her cheeks and jabs me in the ribs. Ow! Lucy crosses her arms and lets out a single scoff. Like, I have to be careful when I catch you muttering, watching the newest season of Underage Panty Shot Quest and having war flashback fits through the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anon, what's wrong? Please stop crying because you remembered the projector incident. <laughs> war flashbacks? I won't go to war for at least a month after I pass boot camp. Assuming I pass, that is. Lucy raises an eyebrow. Rock bottom, war, Vietnam, you know what I'm saying. I moved on, okay? Just like how you moved on from that non-binary, liberal, Trish mili militantism, right? Who said I did? Lucy unfolds her arms and puts her head on her hands. I... I didn't work out as a tough person, I didn't work out as a big musician, and I sure as hell didn't work out as a good girlfriend. Look at us. This whole thing with making everyone's lives around me hell, testing the waters with identifying my gender, it was a complete disaster. You can't really compare the damage I did to myself to you jerking off to cartoons, okay? <laughs> Lucy's eyes widen in horror as she face palms and falls back on the bed. Fuck. I might have said too much. No, no. You're right about the cartoons. <laughs> I already ruined our last day together with stories from when I was just a shit person. Lucy's eyes start to shimmer. Hey, it's fun to compare. I still like you, so I guess girls have it easier. Lucy picks herself up and gives me a narrowed-eyed stare. You just like me? Her eyes droop, and so do her shoulders. I'm not certain if she's serious. But suddenly, she tosses herself into my arms. <laughs> Aw, she puts her whole weight into the embrace, almost like she wants to tackle me. Oh, I love this song. I try to hold us both upright, but the awkward angle and the unevenness of the bed eventually causes us both to fall back into bed. The world really disappears when we're like this. Something I'm infinitely glad for. The world disappears when I can't see it. I have no object permanence. Anon, do you like me better the way I was before? Or do you like me better for who I am now? I say my next words without hesitation. You're much better now. Not cutting weeds in my eyes and kicking me in the face. <laughs> Though I guess you miss your old life. I must feel like a killjoy in comparison. Lucy slides her head over my shoulder and wraps her arms up from underneath me. I don't care about that. It's so much better. I don't like being forced to care about something I'm usually indifferent towards, or pay attention to what someone thinks is more important than what I'm already thinking about. I just want to... Figure it out on my own, you know? If you're talking about me wying us to Marathon Lucky Star, then fine, I'll stop. <laughs> Lucy pulls away from our embrace just enough for me to see the red of her cheeks and tears streaking from her eyes. You fucking dork. I let out a small chuckle as I wipe away some of her tears. I just like seeing you ramble. You'll find some stuff that interests you. Just do you, Lucy. Our foreheads touch. 
She grabs my face with both her hands, all the while looking at me like I'm the most precious thing in her life. All I want to do is bring her closer to me. I want to keep picking her apart her brain, become acquainted with every single corner of her mind, and still realize there's always something more to her. I love you, Lucy. So very, very much. Anon, I... I love you. So very, very much. Nazer somehow manages to defy our expectations for being late for once. By being late for once. But that's good. It gives Lucy and I a chance to spend the next ten minutes gathering the last of my belongings and trashing what I couldn't take. With the apartment cleaned and cleared, I leave the keys on the kitchen counter, sparing one last look at the place I called home for the last few months. As much as it sucked, the tiny excuse of a flat had been my sanctuary. Now that I was leaving it, part of me felt like I was losing a friend. I try not to think too much about it as Lucy and I make our way outside. Acer isn't here yet, so we end up standing by the apartment lobby with nothing but our thoughts. A part of me thanked Nacer for his lateness. It gave Lucy and I some more time together. Lucy's the first to speak up and break the silence between us. What am I going to do when you're gone? Lucy's words surprised me, but I'm ready with an answer this time. You'll make the right choices. You're the only smart person I know. <laughs> Lucy gives me a deadpan look. I'm being serious here, Anon. So am I, Lucy. You're a goddamned intellectual. Lucy bashfully turns her head away, appreciating the compliment. You know, the guys in the army aren't the smartest lot. I'll manage. I don't know if I'm supposed to be jealous or fearful. Lucy begin. What? Why would she be either? I mean, fearful because they're all stupid just like Anon, or jealous that Anon might be the smart one for a change? Lucy begins snickering. They're gonna send you back in a shoebox. <laughs> I can't help but roll my eyes at Lucy's words. Thanks for having so much faith in me. Subconsciously, I let out a sigh. I know you'll have plenty of fun getting back to your own life, especially if since there's no semester in the fall to hold you back. Eh, the mosh pits will not be as entertaining without you fumbling around awkwardly in them. I could do without them. You, on the other hand, seem eager to go back to that. What do you mean? Back to the mosh pits, meeting strange people, having fun, maybe going for that solo career I know you can achieve. You should leave your options open while I'm gone. I don't want to hold you back or make you waste time for waiting for me. We might not even see each other again. But I'll never forget you, Lucy. Lucy stirs like she just got stabbed in the heart. Fuck. That hurts like hell. It's... I... Damn it, Anon. Lucy grits her teeth in anger. I'm sorry about all my bullshit. Please, it's, it's not me anymore. I can't go back to being that thing. My voice causes my girlfriend to flinch. I move to place a hand on her shoulder. Lucy. Lucy lets out a sigh. Hang on. I wouldn't feel right going back to how I used to be. Not right. I, it was just a phase, I swear. <laughs> I thought what I was doing was completely normal. Big. Do doning. <laughs> so humiliating. Nazar might have known. He suffered so much because of it. I can't imagine just how much more my parents would have hated if I stuck to being... being... 
I don't even know who, uh, who I used to be now. I was just an ungrateful bitch. Lucy lets out a groan and face palms. I don't know if I'll ever live this shit down. Anon, please say you don't think less of me now that I've told you all this. And more than all that, I want to show it to everyone that matters to me. I reach out and grab Lucy's hand, squeezing it as tight as I can without causing her discomfort. I consider saying something, but I ultimately decide against it. Instead, I only stare deeply and softly into Lucy's citrine eyes. Before I can do anything else with my girlfriend, I hear the sound of tire screeching and the roar of an engine. <laughs> a familiar gray-toed car pulls up right next to us, stopping so abruptly that it leaves a set of skid marks. Lucy reaches into her pocket and pulls out a $10 bill. I motion for her to keep it. Something told me where I was going. I wouldn't be needing money. Soon as the car comes to a complete stop, its driver disembarks, all the while munching on the remains of a delectable looking hot dog. This is Tradcat Patch 6, fortunately. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I downloaded this, uh, I got the patch after they fixed everything, so, you so no worries there, guys. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry I'm late guys, decided to stop by Tracy's hot dog cart to get something to eat, but she took a bit longer than usual. Nacer chomps on the last of his of this meal and licks his fingers clean with a satisfied smile. Anyway, you two ready to go, or do you guys need a few more minutes? I look at the time on my phone. Much as I want time to stand still, the bus departing to boot camp would be leaving in less than an hour. I give Fang one last look, as she in turn looks at me. We both know what ha needs to happen next. Does it make it any less painful? Without another word, Lucy and I get in the back of the NASCAR. Nacer, without a moment of hesitation, floors the gas pedal, and he flies off down Skin Row's small streets. A part of me bids, good bids my old neighborhood, shitty as it was, a final farewell. The drive towards the pickup spot is quiet. Not one of the three of us wants to say a word. Fifteen minutes of silent driving, and we arrive at my designated pickup location. Three of us get out of the NASCAR and stand around the bus stop, waiting for the inevitable. Lucy mentioned needing to do something, heading into the office. The silence between Nacer and I is deafening. Nacer suddenly clears his throat. Listen, Anon. Yeah? Uh, you're gonna be gone for a while. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, rifle run or infantry or whatever it's called. Huh? What are they going to make you do? Something like digging ditches? Not to come off as rude or anything. I sigh and shake my head. Well, at least he's starting to catch his poor words now. I mean, yeah, I'll be doing that too. But they had me take an ASVAB test. So they want me to do more mechanical stuff. I think the code thing was 12k? 19k? They're pushing me into being a tank guy. Can you even drive, dude? Mm. Anyway, I decided something more up my alley. It's kind of like shitposting, but more official, I think. Oh, he's gonna be in fucking intelligence, isn't it? <laughs> it's shitposting. <laughs> N never mind. The number thing is 46R. Imagine trying yeah. to explain shitposting to someone who doesn't know it. 
Hey, sir, do, you ever not... get a lot of, do you ever get a lot of joy of watching other people be angry? <laughs> well, that's half the appeal. That's how I start off. Guess the next patch will be the last. Are they doing another patch? Can't imagine what they would put in. Well, I guess we did see a few typos. That could be fixed. Nacer nods his head and looks off. Before the silence could set in again, Nacer speaks up, his voice carrying a tone of relief. I've been meaning to say for a while. Thanks, Anon. I mean it. I didn't know what I was gonna, what I was doing for a while. If you didn't take the hit and get us together at Moe's, I'd still be feeling sorry for myself like some loser. Honestly, I'd be that scared little kid stressing over being something I didn't need to be. I didn't do too much at all. It was Moe and Rosa, really. It was you and Lucy that patched things up, and I'm glad you guys made amends. Nacer gives me a surprised look, but he smiles and nods. We hear the unmistakable roar of a city bus overpowering the other cars as it turns onto the street. It's still a few lights away though, so Nacer gets back in the driver's seat to leave Lucy and I alone. Lucy had come back at some point. I was kind of happy she kept quiet to give me and Nacer our moment. All this time, we avoided saying goodbye to each other, but eventually, it has to happen. Lucy. Hang on. A horrifying, tugging pain hits me in the chest. You'll be fine while I'm gone, right? Yeah. I seriously have no idea what's going to happen to her. I reprehend any thought that something bad might happen to her. But still... Can you promise me that... If I do see you again, that you'll be a better person? Well, that's not a really good way to word that. Us both. Better persons. Okay. I'll be a better person. But you have to promise me something, too. That you'll come back. I mutter. Okay. She mutters. Okay. Good. It's settled, then. Aww. We hugged once again, but she put some serious muscle into it. I reciprocate. I want to feel the imprint of this embrace for hours. Her heart's racing. Stronger. The bus driver grows impatient and starts honking. The time has come. Sure enough, I was still feeling Lucy's hug after we separated. Nacer rolls down the window of the car. Good luck, man. Same, man. I gripped his hand. He squeezed my hand in return and then recoiled. My grip was stronger than he was anticipating. I got inside and waved back at them. I gave the driver my regards and laid back, looking at my feet. I must have gone, I must have thought about a lot of things then. Like what if I just jumped out the window and ran to her? Or if I would die and never see her again, like in that Green Snoop music video. Green, Green Snoop? Snoop. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> What, like, green? No, it can't be Green Day, because that was Day Go to Snoop. That's probably it, though. I looked back to see if I could get a glimpse of her. My eyes frantically searched the small figures, and there she was. I caught her in mid-motion, crying in Nacer's shoulders. And then the bus rounds a corner, and they're gone. Banished from each other's lives. That's a bad promise from Renan, actually. Like, he's forcing Lucy to be something else. Yeah, like I said, he could have worded it better. Like, they were just talking that you, like, oh, promise me you won't fall back into your old self. That could have been something better to say. 
generally improve. Don't stop improving yourself yeah. as a person. Just keep living and learning. And I I know you'll be great. Yo, yeah. general uplifting yeah. stuff. I was dropped the out. Other dudes. I was dropped out of a hotel with the other dudes. A surprisingly diverse crowd of humans and dinosaurs conversed. We waited there for another bus that took us to an airport. Thank I might have slept as soon as I sat on the airplane seat, because I don't remember the takeoff or the drill. I was fortunate enough to get a seat by the window. I flipped it up and saw a desert with a two-lane road cutting through. I don't even know where I am now, only that I'm nowhere near Lucy. God, I hope I see her again. Three years later, holy okay. moly. Okay, we are- oh, that's, that's a tour. Yeah. Or boot camp and then a tour. A tour is two years. Three years later. Volcadera Bluffs. New duty station, recruiting teens to suffer just like I did. Good times, good times. With my rucksack on my now back. He's now he's got the muscles, now he's ripped. Yeah, still won't take off the jacket though. With my rucksack on my back and my cheap rolling case at my side, I make my way down to my old stomping ground for some cheap living. Three years. I wonder if Lucy still lives here. There's new buildings in the Galleria, not to mention it's gotten even more labyrinthian. The sun reflecting off the mirror-polished windows are baking me alive in my JDUs. Thinking back, I think there's a park nearby that has a decent vending machine. Mentally retracing my steps for my senior year, I managed to find the park. Eh, it looks like they're holding some kind of festival, with all the booths set up and tyranotykes running around. There's an unoccupied picnic bench, miraculously, so I set my heavy bags carrying my entire life down and pop open my water bottle. Snoop Game 1.5, Anon Goes to Iraq. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's the spin-off game. Sitting here, I can't help but reminisce about the last time I was here. There's an awful lot I left behind here. Like my high school sweetheart. The dicks of my old platoon never did believe me. Then again, I didn't want to show that photo album her mom gifted me. <laughs> oh, Raptor Jesus, I miss her. I wonder if she remembers that promise. Am I? I look up to see a pterodactyl in a floral print dress running full tilt towards me. Anon, you remembered! Aw. What? What a time to lag. I stand up I and prepare to take her down. I am poorly prepared, however. She lunges at me, and before I think to grab my cheap-ass kabar, her beak mashes roughly against my lips. What? I curse my instincts as my hands reflectively hold my Amor Amoris attacker by her hips. Wait. I pull back, both for air and to figure out who this is, if this is who I think it is, and not some well-dressed sexual harassing lady hobo. Lucy? You remembered our promise! Right, right. Yeah, the promise. That I'd come back and be with you. How could I forget? I finally have a chance to take Lucy in. Gone is the halter top, torn jeans, and spiky horn band. And their plate. She's ruined! <laughs> <laughs> and her plate. I mean, either look works. She really pulls off every outfit. In their place, a simple golden sundress and a large red ribbon tied around her head crest, looking for the world like a pair of red bunny ears. Her hands remain on my shoulders, and I can see that she's checking me out now. I'm proud to say I'm no longer a lanklet, especially with how my uniform spouse rolled up sleeves feel like they're cutting off the blood flow to my hands. You've really changed since the last time I saw you, Anon. Also looks like he got significantly taller. Yeah. Yeah, you, gotta, you really got those gains. <laughs> I'm so glad you're safe after all these years. I got so worried for you. What if something happened overseas? 
what if you got lost or hurt? Why did you, you not have the opportunity to contact me ever? What if he never returned at all? Yeah, I was weird. Like, did they just not allow him to contact home or other people for three years? I mean... Or even the military, they let you, like, get leave every once in a while. Or at the very least, send a letter. Yeah. Well, I guess it depends how deep they were. They were over a desert. Then again, I don't know. I don't know. Who... There's a way to... Con like, I, 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 I had known a guy who was in the military right after high school, and we were able to stay in contact with him. Yeah. So they give you the option to reach out. I guess but anyway. It, I guess it depends, but maybe Dino military is backwards. They're they're not as advanced as us. True. The red ribbon is pretty great. You rated an eight. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Like I said, she pulls off all the looks. What if you never returned at all? Hey, have more faith in me. I still got all my limbs, right? I didn't get bruised too bad. Like, uh, remember that time I fell down the stairs? I'm pretty indestructible, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll wait before showing her my scars. Wow, you're pretty amazing. What have you been up to? Oh, I got my associates and then... Uh, who wants to do a kid uh, voice? Miss Lucy! Fang shrugs. And then this. I assume she's teaching. A little T-Rex runs up to the table. I assume she didn't give birth to a T-Rex. No. Miss Lucy, Miss Lucy! Now, Vince, there's no need to yell this close. What's wrong? I was playing with Jared. He said he said the earthquake happened when my... <laughs> <laughs> my mommy gets out of bed. Well, do they? <laughs> Tell them it's not true. <laughs> I just love a teacher just being like, well, I mean, do they? You could have a point here. You yeah. never know. You have to be, on, you have to be honest, honest with yourself. Yes, one way or the other. Tell him that his mom has a secret daddy she doesn't tell anyone about. No. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, you don't. No, no, no. Jared, get over here. <laughs> Ah, uh, great advice, Anon. After clearing up the squabble, Lucy slumps over the picnic table again. God damn it, Jerry. Want me to get you a water <laughs> bottle or something? No thanks, I had lemonade earlier. Fair's the, the fair's some annual town hunting celebration. This year the people in charge had extra funding. So today they're letting the local schools have a field trip here free of charge. Need another chaperone? love to, but parents get really upset about this sort of thing. You have to be qualified and certified to look after these guys. And she got that in three years. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's a... Normally it takes, like, four years just to get a bachelor's, and she managed to get a teaching degree in three. Well, she got her associates. Oh, associates, that's fair. Associates only take two. Oh, need a child like... child mind of license, yeah? Pray a bonkers, yeah? I chuckle aloud at my own silly accent. Lucy's giggles echo my mirth. Lucy's giggles slowly melt away, and a trickling tear leaves from her eye. You're really back. Her arms wrap around me tightly, as if afraid I'll disappear at any moment. My hand rumps comforting circles across her back, soothing her. Yeah, I'm back, Lucy. I'm surprised you waited for me here. Of course. That promise meant the world to me, Anon. We stay embraced in the hot sun for just a moment longer before I let go again. Lucy's gaze lingers on the children, her eyebrows knit together in contemplation. Look at them, Anon. Fang points towards the kids screaming and, and falling over each other. We were all like this at some point. Stupid. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, no, I, I meant careless, innocent. Suppose we were. She lets out a sigh. One day they're gonna start thinking and doing all the wrong things that we did and did when we were teenagers. I wish I could stop it from happening. They're perfect, just like this. If only they could stay man children like you. <laughs> Kids can be mean to each other. 
but not cruel. The world makes them cruel. Until then, they're free. We gotta protect their freedom. Save them from our mistakes. Oh, well, a good thing. That's what I've been doing for the past three years. <laughs> they're fighting for freedom! That's quite a statement to hear from her. You've changed. I think now would be a good time for a segue. I'm glad to see you're doing good. How's everyone personally, else? I prefer scooters. What? I said personally, I prefer scooters. <laughs> good time for a segue. I get it. Ew. How's everyone else? Do dinos lay eggs or give live birth? Oh, we had this conversation yeah, we, quite a few times over the course of this stream. They lay eggs, but we're assuming that these particular dinos give life birth. Has, they have memories. If you come from an egg, you don't need memories. Yeah. Also, hey, BB Pixel. How you doing? And the creator said no cloaca. So they have vagina, which means live birth. That or Everyone they're really else? kinky. But... You know... Naser, Trish, Naomi, Reed, all those guys. Oh, well, let's see here. Nazar went to medical school. Surprising. She closes her... Why is that surprising? Oh, well, it's just not what I expected she from her. She was an athlete. Oh, I, fair. I, you know. oh, yeah, that's a good point. She closes her eyes as she tries... As though trying to recall a lost memory. I haven't seen Naomi, though. And the others? I haven't seen them since either. But you're here now. And now that you're back, I'm never letting you go again. I'm not going anywhere, sweet tooth. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Lucy rolls her eyes. You know, if you had said that back then, I'd have hit you. Yeah. And then I'd have just done it again, because you're cute when you're annoyed. I guess we both changed since then. Oh yeah? How so? I mean... When I first enrolled, I had every intention of just laying low and not sticking out. I didn't care about making friends, as long as it suited that goal. As long as I didn't get bullied anymore, I was just glad to blend in. I guess that plan fell apart. It did, yeah. I kinda blame you for that development. Ha, I made you care about people. Sucks. <laughs> Which is funny, because she also didn't care about people. You did. A few kids chase each other around the table. You get any break time today? I love to check out the town, see what else is different. I'd love to. I'll go ask. I might be a few. Uh, I, I might be. I might get a few minutes to step away. Yeah. Yeah. And we can go check out Volcano High again for old times' sake. She freezes for a second. I'd rather not Volcano High. Too many bad memories. Lucy ended up getting the rest of the day off from her supervisors. I was surprised by how understanding they were once they saw me. They said I deserve it after a hard day's work. You do look exhausted dealing with those ankle biters. Not at all. Truth be told, Anon, I love doing what I do. Catching up with Lucy was the happiest I felt in years. The memories came rushing back as we walked under the hot sun. I like that. So you don't know at all how Reed and Trish are doing? Oh! When was the last time I spoke with them? I hope Trish is alright. Two of you were friends for the longest time. I guess I didn't feel the need to see them again. Looking back, they were terrible influences. I guess so. I mean, Reed wasn't really the worst influence. He did drugs, like, all the time. Yeah. Non-stop. I mean, yeah, there's that, but... Yeah, but he didn't push them on anyone. At, bet, at worst, he was just neutral about everything. Uh, I'd say he's, he's probably a influence. neutral influence, then. He certainly wasn't a pot... Well, maybe for trusting people. He was a good trust... Yeah, I, but then it kind of bit him in the ass a couple of times. Yeah. Reason, I, you know, I honestly hope they're doing okay. Trish was definitely having problems. Trish had problems. Someone who seems like they're doing well while doing drugs is potentially worse than someone who's a bad, just openly a bad influence. Because they make you think things are okay. And 
Oh, that's a Ooh, good you're point. You're a drug addict. And Stella and Rosa? I haven't seen them either. Huh. Seems weird, considering Rosa was of such help to us. Don't get me wrong, Anon. I love what Rosa did for me, Nazar, and you, but I guess I just didn't need to see her anymore. <laughs> Reed wasn't a bad influence on her. He was just a bad influence on the local air quality. <laughs> yeah, good point. I didn't want to see anyone else, for that matter. You must have had friends in the army back at Rock Bottom or even before that, right? They're gone from your life, too. There's nothing wrong with that. Haven't you looked for them? I don't want to. The scenery I here. Can... Yeah sympathize with that a lot there are friends who looking back were just terrible people terrible influence and then yeah i kind of have you guys like that but one guy one I, I did happen to look into back into one guy i i think it's best i leave him nameless but he's actually like in prison prison now mm. Oof. I, the last time i talked to him i i had already not talked to them much before this point but the last time i talked to them they had just like showed up at my house and uh they were just like they, they were just having a conversation about how they had just stolen something from some store and then like and they started smoking and I'm like that's not great and he's like ah, I've been addicted to worse and I was, that, it, it was stuff, <laughs> the entire conversation was stuff like that and I'm like <laughs> that's that's not a good thing to say I don't, I've been addicted I'm happy, to I, I'm happy I don't really see you anymore and I can't I just it, looking back I mean one of them was literally schizophrenic Ooh. And the the worst the drugs, the drugs didn't help that. They, just looking back, he was just an awful influence on everyone everywhere. The worst I could say would be like out of my old friends. The worst I'd say would just be like a Reed status. Just the worst would probably be just smoking. But even then, I just lost all contact because I didn't have social media. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, there are other kid, friends. Kid, friend kids group, these but... days are lucky and also unlucky because of that. Yeah. I was going to say, there's other people from that friend group that I kind of wish I could talk to again, but I just can't without, like, that connection. I don't know if they still talk to them. They probably don't, but it's just mm -hmm. there in my mind. He did put a nod in the arm lock, though. Yeah, well, that's the trusting part biting him in the ass. Because he thought he was doing it good, but no, it was just holding back Anon from stopping that situation from nose diving. Yeah, I mean that he was—he thought Reed's only issue in that thing, like he was going hardcore and stopping Anon, but only because he was naive enough to believe Trish could actually be a uh, decent human, handle that, yeah, decent person in yeah. that scenario. And unfortunately, Reed was way too trusting of Trish, and like the moment he saw. What Trish did, he was like, I fucked up. And he doesn't talk to you for the rest of the game after that. That's the last interaction you have with Reed, is after he realized his massive fuck up there, he just backs out. Mm. Poor guy. I actually feel a little bad for Reed, because like like we were saying earlier, that's the second time he gave his trust to Trish, and Trish just fucking yeah, threw it down. In a way, he also kind of really got screwed over, because he didn't really have a negative part in all this, but he did kind of lose all of his friends. Uh, he yeah. could have done more to reel. Like, he was clearly aware of Trish's issues and did very little to reel them in. Well, he was very on her side. Anyway, let's yeah. continue. The scenery here seems familiar. Oh, this is my old path to school. Maybe I will get to see it after all. Man, if this was your path to school, that would be beautiful. I'd love to see this. At, well, it won't be a sunset. He was always talking about the marine layer coming up. I mean, it wouldn't be a sunset, but still, an ocean side walk. That, that sounds great. Let's turn away to Moe's or somewhere. Aw, I'll have to sc see the school again, though. No, Anon. Hmm. Seems like we just repeat each other. I get upset over nothing, and I apologize. Reed was basically an enabler. Yeah, through an action. And right, helping. Just, he, he a, a, a little him. helping, but more in action, because he saw it happening, but mm. did, didn't really do anything early. Sorry, I just... I don't want to remember Volcano High. I just... Well, he was voting with her on everything. Oh, true. 
Yeah, he was always vo like he turned to. I think he was unaware of how much it meant to Fang, uh, like on some of these decisions. Because the moment he realized that Fang really did want to try to play guitar, he changed his vote to guitar. And after they like, played yeah, it, he's like, "Yeah, she's very good with that. Let's do that." Did too much dumb stuff there, you know. I just want to forget how all that happened. Oh, this is fine too. I do want to see how that fossil is doing. Uh, actually, Mo retired. He sold his franchise. Oh, uh, well, we can still go check it out. Well, at least they kept the name. You can't sell off that good of a pun. Took mm -hmm. a while for us to get there. Getting to be nearly five when we arrived at Mo's. We ordered our usual and picked a table. I can see the old piano in my peripheral vision. I've been asking so much about what you're doing now, but what happened while I was away? I remembered your promise. I tried improving myself, like, really tried. Things kept getting difficult. For a while, I gave up. There were times I'd cry. I would think back to when you were here and miss you so much. I don't want to worry you with the details of what I did during that time, but... I guess I realized something. All this time I was a huge dick to my family. I, idol I idealized things too much and lashed out, at, uh, lashed out at them for not being on the same page as me. I wanted to be a rock star, so I wanted them to have, behave a certain way I think it would fit for that lifestyle. I was being unfair and unrealistic towards them. I wanted them to hate me and somehow that was going to further my career. Like it worked for a lot of famous people. Mm. I didn't want to make my family sad anymore, so I just did what I've always should have done and learned to love them, to thank them for all they did for me. So you kept playing? I'd love to see what else you've composed over the years. I'm sure it's great. No, I, I just gave that up. Wh what? Really? It was such a huge part of you. I didn't need it anymore. Plus, it reminded me too much of Trish. I, I put away the instrument somewhere and never played anything ever again. Then what have you been doing all these years? Dad needed help with a charity event. He bought food and he needed me to help him carry it around since Nazar was away in college. I thought it was going to be a boring event with a bun a boring evening with a bunch of brats, but I saw something. I saw the children. They ran around me, they offered me toys to play with, and I joined them. I lifted them up from the ground, some clung to my knees as I moved about. No one ever played with me like that, no one ever approached me like that. It was so pure, so innocent. I should have, a pic should have showed them a picture of you in your high school clothes. <laughs> would be hilarious. But yeah, I enjoyed my time with the children so much. Passed around in my church, and eventually I got a gig dealing with preschoolers. She looks so happy right now. I feel like I would ruin the mood to bring up Trish, Reed, and the others again. You know, part of me expected you to forget about the whole promise. That I'd come back as some lucky dino guy had already swept you off your feet. She just smiles and gives a small laugh. The amount of guys I had to tell that my, my boyfriend was just deployed and coming home soon. She begins stroking my hand on the table. Hang on, I'd never forget about you or our promise. Part of me is glad she's saying this to me, but I still have too many questions. It's weird, because I know she's happy. She looks happy in her work, and she's glad I'm here. But something deflates the moment. I don't know what it is. I look towards the decorative piano Mo always had in the corner. Look, Fang, the piano. What about it? You think they let us play it? I don't know, it's probably out of tune. Yeah, it might be worth a shot. Come on. But you can't play. Then you play. Oh. As we sit by the piano, I think she understands why I'm teasing her like that. 
I open the lid. The keys look rather pristine. And on, I... Her fingers lightly roll across the keys. She retracts herself. I haven't played in a long time. I don't know if I can still do it. I bet you still remember how to do it. She positions her hands just above the keys. I haven't done this in years. I don't even know which song to play. I want to see you play. That's all. I want to hear you after all this time away. All right. She gave out a sigh, but then... What to play? Her eyes seemed to glimmer for a moment. I know. Remember this? It was our song, remember? We made it together. Ah, I still got it. I always thought of this melody when I thought about you. I guess I never forgot how to do it. I thought I'd be rusty with the piano. You play beautifully. Thank you. I sit closer to Lucy. She rests her head on my shoulder. Her hands are still resting on the keys, eager to play again. You shouldn't have abandoned music. We talked about what we would do now, especially since it was getting dark outside and the streetlights were coming on. We walked our way back to where we started, near the park. I don't know, Anon. It's just so weird. A music teacher? I don't know, Fang. It could be cool if you tried. She definitely has the experience of, like, what music is. Not just, like, how to play it, but, like... Yeah, I mean, she excelled in her music class. She could probably teach. She taught Anon. Yeah. yeah. Well, but I mean, like, the the emotion behind music. Oh, that's, she can that's a very that. big part, too, yeah. yeah. Fang is shivering. The colder air setting in. Here, this will get you warmer. Aww. I draw Lucy close to my chest. Hey, he finally took the jacket off. Yeah. God, he's ripped! Also, oh, look, look at all those scars. Yeah, all those she snuggles up to me. Thank you. She's precious. Being taller now, I guess the animal part of my brain is telling me to protect my smaller and more fragile mate. Bongo bongo. Little by little, I'll get you back to music, your friends. I'm sure it'll work out fine towards the end. Lucy stirs. She doesn't like the idea. Anon, please don't ask me to do that. I'm not ready. How are you not ready? I lied, Anon, okay? I lied. I disappointed you. I promised I would get better, but you're clearly not happy with how I turned out. Nonsense. You have no idea how proud I am of you. Still broken, Hanon. I've never even started preening again because I had no one, but... Oh, I, I even started preening again because I had no one, but remembering I promised you and Nazar I wouldn't do it anymore hurt even more so. That was years ago. I swear I tried getting better. Forgive me. I'm the one sighing this time. <sighs> you wanted me to live my own life, be this great person you wanted me to be, yet I'm here doing menial church tasks, dealing with children. I mean, helping take care of children is a pretty yeah, big not, thing. I'm not a bad person at all. Yeah, no, that's great. Helping kids is great. Of course, it could not be me. more of, less of, be this great person you wanted me to be, she just built up this massive image in her mind that she just can never live up to. I've got no friends, no new songs, nothing going on for me. I know I needed to be a famous musician to make you happy. I know I needed to have forgiven Trish and the others, but it just didn't work out. I couldn't do it. I'm lonely, Anon. You're all that's left for me. You didn't need to be all that to be happy. I still think you're the best. Forget it, Lucy. What's done is done. We're here. That's all that matters. Aww. I embrace her. I could tell she was getting tense. 
but slowly she relaxes in my arms. When I said that we're being together was all that mattered, she hugged me back. I'm here. I still can't believe it. Lucy is shaking with excitement in my arms now. I'm already thinking about all the all kinds of things we could do. Fuck, just knowing I won't see you, I, I just knowing that I won't see you until tomorrow already hurts me. I can take you to go see mom and dad right now. They would get a kick out of seeing you like this. Ah, uh, not right now. That would be a bit too much for them to take in. And I have to unpack too. I got a little room in a motel for now. Would you like some help? I thought to deny her, but Lucy's eyes are pleading with me to say yes. Yeah, also, got... I left all my stuff on a bench in the park. <laughs> I got quite a bit. You sure, Lucy? All the more reason for me to help. Alright, then. My motel isn't too far from here. Please tell me it's like the same room. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said I had a lot to unpack. Between all the luggage I brought back with me, and the heavier memories of my time spent in the arid deserts, I saw and felt a different side of Lucy I'd partially forgotten. Her tender hands rubbing soothingly across the scars now littered across my chest. We stayed up till the warm morning glow of dawn lit up the messy motel room. Clothes, paperwork, and useless knickknacks I collected were scattered everywhere in an organized chaos. And yet, I've never felt more at rest, more rest and at peace with the world than with Lucy cuddled up next to me. A peace shattered by my stomach demanding sustenance loudly. Mmm. How about we get some breakfast? I treat. A breakfast date sounds nice. Say, how about we invite my family? I'm sure Mom would love to see you again. Probably would, too. However, I'd rather spend it with just you, Lucy. I grin as I watch Lucy's face turn beet red. You were never this smooth a talker, Anon. Fine, but I definitely want them to see you. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow. I'll tell them first, get them hyped up to see you. That would be great. So, tomorrow, then. Tomorrow, yes. We made our way towards her car door, but before getting in, she once again embraces me, this time a little stronger. Uh, it's okay, Lucy. I was so lonely, Anon. You don't need to be alone, you know. I'm so glad you're here. I missed you. Oh god, this song, it gets me every time. <laughs> I missed you too, Lucy. Though I miss the old Fang, I'm elated. I love you, Lucy. Ending three, Ending of, four. three of four. Volcano High School musical. There was no musical, what? I guess... Huh. Maybe it, out of uh, all those, okay, I was really because I was reading the chat that was played up to be a lot more scary than I thought it was going. Than it turned out to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more depressing, or we had yeah. somehow gone along the NTR route we were warned about. But that was really sweet. I love that. Oh, uh, and now see the NTR uh, was when they were saying, "Yo, you're using Tradcath patch six. The previous patch six had uh, some NTR comments as jokes that were that were left in by accident." Hmm. Oh. God, no, I really like that ending. I am a little, I, it was bittersweet, but I feel like that fits the tone of the overall game. Like the game as itself is a very mature, trying to take a more, not, not, not uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not realistic, but like pragmatic, pragmatic approach. Like this is a thing that would actually happen in most relationships is that they don't tend to always last long. But I thought it ended like really, really sweetly with her having waited for you for three years and you get to see her again. And I was a little disappointed that there was no, you know, we don't get to find out what happened to Reed and Trish and the others. But in a way, that's just how also how life works. You don't find yeah. out what happens to some influences in your life. Yeah, it's it's, it's a very bittersweet ending, all things considered. 
really even I mean, like it, to be honest. Well, and also, yes, uh, I mean, it ends very sweetly. She fucking waited. Like, that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of three years coming back and she was going to have, like, somebody else or have moved on or something. But that was, like, I am a little depressed that she, in fact, did. In a way, it's a little sad that she did wait so long for you and didn't really do much of on her own, uh, just managing to find out she was good with kids. Well, that's part. It I mean, waiting, that's waiting for you for her life to start up again. But you know, other than that, it was still very, very sweet that she waited so long. Well, that's a little bit of the bare sweetness. You know, kind of like uh, Gexhorde said this earlier in chat that you know, Anon keeps thinking back to the past. You know, for Lucy's sake, you know, like oh, what about all the old friends and stuff like that? But Lucy wants to move like attempted to move on but she can't so she got stuck in sort of like a nowhere progression and then also you saw she kept you know had all these grand ideas that she thought a non thought she would have and then she couldn't live up to anything yeah i think she was way too hard i think i i'm honestly impressed with her too learning that she has a knack for working with children and just generally helping them out it is very much something to be proud of she has nothing to be ashamed of in her way oh uh, fuck what the hell and then, then yeah ending? they future yeah oh, future. They end, we got a future ending they end up getting married Aww. 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 sweet end Aww best end hey, so hinkle hinkle what, what are your thoughts of it of the game I, was, I i mean i don't really have much more to add than what shima said it was i i i, I don't even consider that end very bitter to be honest i just consider it sweet yeah sorry if i if i uh, motor mouthed there and took up too much of the conversation so that was very very sweet other I now am, one I question nazar, i am curious if nazar ever broke it off with naomi because except for that one bit where she broke character in the kitchen which is like the one bit of her being a bitch in the entire series hmm. he's definitely like i can't understand like why he's so borderline amicable to trish half the time uh and then naomi he's just like always oh, so gosh darn bitter towards yeah just look at how goddamn happy and honest i mean who wouldn't be on top of the world marrying a, 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 a beautiful tarot GF. I still just don't feel it. Well, okay, so <laughs> now question to ask: How? What do you? How do you think with the choices you made along the route? What? How? What do you think you could improve on since that was ending three of four? Where? How do you think things? Well, what, cho what choices so you could change? Is higher number better ending? Question mark. I will not say. Uh, Just what mention, choices did, do you I, think I, I could alter ground? I peeked in the chat where they said that we were like one short and maybe like the guitar choice is the only thing we like. If there's a certain number of choices that we have to all get right in order to get the quote unquote best ending. And we missed the guitar, so we didn't get the best ending, but we still got a good ending. But I am... Well, uh, normally, I wouldn't expect the guitar thing to be that big of a choice. <laughs> I figure it's just the... Uh, it's just... It adds points for, like, you know, it's like, you know... Yeah. You know I, it, it, I it, see, there you go. Uh, e. Smith in chat, all caps. When a girl says, sit on my lap and play guitar, do it! We had to study. Play, play, we yeah. were going to fail our classes. Yeah, no, I'm still, I'm still right where I... And that it feels like a strong influence for what would the ending what where he's like you know keep improving yourself because we had established there that we were about self improvement not wasting time playing the guitar. As far as big decisions go, there's one decision I absolutely know would have led towards a different path. We could have chosen to dodge or duck underneath the can and it would have hit Fang instead. That would have changed fucking everything, and I imagine that leads to a completely different path. All right, so, yeah, so that is one. That no, is but one I'm still. Thing. What I keep trying to go back to is the one that we had a big argument on for a long time about which one to pick, and I still think my choice is the best one. All right, Probably between like how to handle Trish. Yeah. I feel like that one was actually a minimal choice. I feel like because the moment Tr uh, Anon said something, he was called into the office by like Anon couldn't even do anything with that choice. He was called into the office by Spear, and That's despite true. taking what you thought was the most aggressive choice, he was very you know understanding and very true. you know upfront with. I, I feel like that choice, despite having spent so long arguing about it, I don't feel like that choice had much of an impact. What were you gonna All say, right. Kaz? All right, so to set up for next week, I will say. You guys were on the edge of three endings. I will say that much at least. Next week, because, as I found out, you have to do all the endings for the bonus chapters. And I also want to see your reaction to all the, to all the endings. 
I'm sure the, I'm sure our uh, wonderful viewers would too. So next week, I'm going to show you one of the endings you are one choice off from, and then I think we should be able to do we, each uh, uh, ending we, in in each week. For authenticity, could we go back to like one of the most like where the choice that would have set us on that path gone going through that path and then maybe like fast forward through the dialogue? Yeah, I'm curious to know how much the story like changes before the ending. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, do we still go out camping? Do we still go to well, prom? Do we still uh, have that conversation with Nazar in the auditorium? Well, I will say, does, uh, does Trish still does Trish still break Fang and in the auditorium? I, I mean, okay, so not to spoil too much. I will say I, I have been keeping save files of each each time we've streamed. I've made two save files at the end. So next time, I will we'll pick up. I'll skip ahead to to show you the choice that will have made the different path, and then we'll continue on from normal there because, uh, like I said, you're on the edge of three paths, so it's very close to the end. So uh, yeah, next week. We'll see an ending the week after that, the next ending, the week after that, the third ending. I feel like we should be able to uh, knock it out pretty great. I want to know what choice it was. Well, you'll I find out. Wait, you'll find out next week. No, I want to be vindicated now because I'm still convinced it was mine. No, you'll just gonna have to wait. You'll find, find out, out next week. See, it's something to keep people watching, even though you guys are gonna be here by default. I don't need to entice you with anything. Unless I Google. No, please, I, I, I really ask, don't Google. I, you guys got to keep this blind. So, I think it was my choice. I think she was stupid all along. It gave you the, I thought we found a solid middle ground between okay, those well, choices. Okay. Yeah. Well, to, to, I guess for maybe a little vindication, I'll say... Uh, since you were on three different endings, there was two separate spots that could have changed things massively. So I'll say you both kind of had a point at certain spots. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah. So for you guys watching, tune in next week for a ending. I won't say which. I mean, you guys, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed Snoop Game so far. What would you rate it so far? Just, uh, just from that one ending. Here. Uh, just from that one ending, I would give it a very solid. It's kind of hard to rate it on. Like I'm trying, like I, I, I'm rating it compared to other visual novels, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. Like as far I like the tracks. I love multiple endings. I'd give this uh, so far a solid, definitely a solid eight out of ten for me. There's just a few points I really would have liked to see. There's like conversations like between Nazar and uh, Fang, like their whole getting back, you know, coming to understand each other. I'm still disappointed we missed that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I don't know, maybe some other things I could knock a point off. But it's still a very, very solid story. The story I have absolutely no, almost no issues with. It's just, it, it's just such good character yeah. writing. All right, it's For a group of Anons off of 4chan of all places, it is an amazing yeah. story. It's The character writing is mm -hmm. so good. Ah, uh, see, there we go. That's the only correct rating, E. Smith. Yeah, boop boop snoot, snoot out of okay, 10. That's I, I'd give it a boop snoot out of 10 as well. Yeah. I, um... I'd probably give it a lower score than what Shima said, but that's partially because I score things very. Uh, yeah, my my eight out of ten is like an IGN. My my, well, my eight out of ten is like an IGN eight out of ten. Well, I'd have to actually go through and do my scoring system to come up with a number. Well, remember, right we, we've only gone through one so yeah. far. Well, I'll ask your ratings again when we've done the full thing. So yeah, that also went a lot. They added a good chunk more to ending three than I was expecting. One thing I do have to say is the ending drag. Well, the, the one. Well, significant. The, all the bit of after they do the dance. So it's Anon and Fang at the apartment talking about the past up to mm -hmm. Anon leaving. That's all new. What I, what I did. I just shouldn't have been added in. I've also I, just I, I don't think it was worth being there at all. I, I, it, well, at the very least, it's worth it to show the promise because when I played in patch three, you go from they danced to three year later time skip, and you hear uh, about the promise. So having yeah, see, seeing silly. the promise being made is definitely a good. Well, addition. I, just, I meant the part that didn't need to be in there was like the 
the like yeah them reminiscing about the past like in the summer like they the conversation in the park with the hot dog lady that was fine and then i felt like it i don't know that was the longest ending by the way oh oh good it was so long i'm not just talking about post-military part i was just talking about the lead up to it it was fucking long it was it I mean, I guess a part of it is it's like, like I don't. It's really I don't hanging know. on the emotion. Of yeah, because I guess yeah, realistically, leaving. it would feel like an eternity when just yeah. how much they built up and now they have to be gone for who knows how Leave. long. Yeah, possibly I feel, forever. I feel like I feel like the color of it being too long might be painted by how late it is. Like I feel like if this part that, had happened, no, it was it was long. long. There it, <laughs> It was leading to an ending of the story and lingering on parts that weren't leading to the ending of the story. I mean, I could say uh, there's the repetition of feeling, but then again, it is kind of realistic. You would just kind of keep saying goodbye over and over, keep repeating the same thing over and over because you yeah. don't want it to happen, even though you know it's going to happen. Yeah, no, I do definitely agree that it does that. The longness of it captures the feeling of leaving, but uh <laughs> But yeah, so the, the longness also led to the point where I'm like, yes, finally I'm leaving. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm looking forward to the next few weeks, the other endings. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so remember, guys, next Tuesday, we the second part with Hot Dog Lady show have been cut. There was, was there a second part. I think he meant in the park in the summer. Also, oh, also I just uh, want yeah. to say one last thing. I think I know one other important choice. It was the last choice we make where we ignore Rosa and Stella or talk to them. I feel like that is the that that's the last choice Anon made in the game. That's and that I feel is like true. That has to be that has mm, to be a, that, a branch. It's a good idea. Yeah, that's true. And then also because, and also because if you didn't talk with Rosa at that point, then you wouldn't have gotten her for the. Uh, we we'll have gotten her phone number yeah. and, 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 and fang together yeah so yeah next next tuesday more snoot uh like i i mean i, I said it earlier twitch.tv slash gazard i stream more often over there if you like twitch.tv dot gazard slash gazard fuck damn it i messed it up i'm sorry <laughs> that's all part of the name you have to remember it he's not gonna say if, it again if, if you like endings i'll be getting i'll be picking up amori finishing off uh some other endings there since i was told there are multiple other endings that branch off at if the you end like endings he'll jerk you off the happiest of endings okay so yeah watch me there follow subscribe uh subscribe here follow twitch see you guys next week or later in this week depending on which platform you want to watch me on say good night everyone no good night everyone okay have a good have a have a good snoot everybody yes have a good snoot may you have happy snoot dreams good night <laughs>